There we go. I heard everyone along for board. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Be so mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome back to Blast Brigade versus the Evil Legion of Dr. Creed, where, well, I, I had a feeling about this, but yeah, this is confirmed it basically. There's, there's a random chance of every of the heroes that we've unlocked to appear here in the main menu. Would have been a bit neat if they cycled between them, maybe, but it's still nice as is. Here's the thing. Maybe they begin one cycle as we unlock them. Maybe. Uh, for now, I need to click the game for the controller to respond or to affect wait, it. Wait, wait, hold on. <clears throat> Look at the save file. Yeah, four heads, or at least two heads and two silhouettes. And the next one looks extremely familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, I I'm guessing that's going to be Scottic McScotland who we freed. That, that, that has to be the Scotsman. No idea about the last one, though, but that doesn't look like, like the pilot. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out for someone with that hairstyle, perhaps. But for now, we can continue. Last week, we started with this game, and yeah, it, it proved to be as nice as I expected it to be from the showcase. Yeah, okay. and as we started, I just noticed that they said that he had... He said it was one... Uh, he said 1.1... A very low number, so this might be a game that only had maybe some minor hotfixes before release, or after release. Yeah, hotfixes are typically after. Yeah, so we might be looking at a game that had minimum bug issues. This means they may have really worked long and hard to make it smooth as possible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, last time we started the game, we discovered how we are switching between characters, as in they are, well, they're <laughs> the ones who aren't active are basically put into a quantum pocket. And, uh, <laughs> hello, Marco, how are you doing today? <laughs> hello, Marco! Okay. Oh, yeah. I do kind of miss the time where we had games re released very bug free, or at least yeah. near bug free. Like, I like the idea to be able to download a patch to fix them just quick and easy. But uh, that, that, I think we talked about this before. I feel like that, that option has become a. Uh, Rarity. I mean. They, they, they lean on it. It's not using it. Uh, as it probably intended, they you, you just launch a game, uh, we, we fix it later. Attitude yeah. instead. When it's supposed to be a. when it's unexpected bugs. And oftentimes they don't even fix the act, make it functional. Yeah. <laughs> so in the past, it was kind of worse since. Like, if it, when you release a, a game that you did not expect to have a sudden bug that appeared just because you printed on a floppy disk or a CD... ...before you could use the internet, then you had yeah. to have, be lucky that you could go in, in out on the internet and download it, or even earlier before that, hope you could get a floppy disk or not a CD with the patches. Yeah. Or, hmm. in some cases, be lucky you've got it as a bonus on a gaming magazine. Yeah. Let's see. Marco, I'm okay playing Yakuza. Downloaded a mod that gives enemies 10 times health because I was bored. Oh, dear. And yeah, we needed to do this. Okay. Now, yeah, that's what that did. Okay. Then we swapped yeah. to Shura, who has... Uh, it's, yeah, there we go. Who has her grappling hook? And she refuses awesome. to give it up. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, so basically, it's always I do feel like we have going a better place. It's easier to fix a game. But on the other hand, it's a lot more common that games just come out in completely broken states. Yeah, with a pay for it now, we'll fix it later. Yes. Yeah. Maybe, in some cases, like, sometimes they just release a game so buggy, they just run away. 
Oh, don't bother fixing it. Yeah. Anyways. Let, before we go on... Hmm. Okay, can we get through that gap? Because there's clearly some file over here. And I think I mentioned this last time, but... I uh, no, I think we need a roll or something to get through that gap. I'm guessing we need to hit these things at a certain speed or something. To have them, well, all be off at once or something. Hmm. Maybe one of the other characters will have that ability. <clears throat> but, yeah, there's, a l there's way too many developers out there who just basically... Who make a quote-unquote game and just uh, just run away with the money. Oops. Yeah, but anyway, also had the case, case of they want to fix all the bugs possible, but then they had the issue of the publisher rushing them. Yeah. This is many reasons why many Oops. games at times is even though so many bugs to begin with. Even in old days, because of the publisher rushing the development. Yeah. Okay. Luckily, as far as I know, just, well, indie development and such do doing a lot to, well, let people, let developers do what they freaking want to do, instead of being well, basically held hostage. Yeah, I feel like many indie publishers have realized that uh, you get the easier time get a good profit when things are working as intended. Yeah. A lot of publishers, to my limited knowledge, just care mostly about profit now and don't care if they burn down the house they live in, figuratively speaking, to get it. Whereas, well, the actual developers, they need to, <laughs> they need to keep surviving to keep making games. And oftentimes, most of the to my knowledge, most of the profits typically go to a publisher anyways. So for developers to go indie is just a win-win in general for them. It does get them less funding and such. But if they manage to... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I did not expect those things to try and ground pound me. Oh dear. But, yeah. It's harder to... Ooh, that's a landmine. It's harder to get a, something off the ground as an indie dev, but once you've basically got things running, I believe it is generally just for the better for everyone. Just, just look at Supergiant Games. I think they are self-published. And, well, they've been doing great with Hades and such. Yeah. So, sometimes... Something like a Kickstarter will help, but again, when it comes to Kickstarters, is a obvious a risk. You yeah. either get, don't get enough funding, or people end up funding something that is likely a scam. Yeah, and other times there's, there's even there's even people who will just put uh, who will put forwards or how to put it. There are people who basically say that they will support, but then afterwards just uh, just not have the money or withdraw to, well, deny the, the project the, the actual cash and such. So, uh, yeah. A lot of risks, but also more rewards. Yeah. So I guess it also did explain uh, the designs of indie games. Like, many indie games don't really look like the AAA games. Yeah. But uh, they don't come set usually with a lot of charm and a lot of good style and all. Like, many indie games still look damn good. Yeah. Okay, we can't shoot those. Oop. Oop. Okay. <laughs> accidentally ran into the arena. Nice little trick game. Yeah. And I also guess with the indie in developers, they also focus more on uh, yeah, actually making a quality make... product. Yeah, with what they got, and uh, and he, I don't know if this is an indie developer, but this is a good example. It looks, it looks good. Is it old school? Yes. 
But it looks good, it runs well, and it's fun. Yep. Yeah, there's also just a constant... Uh, ooh, uh, quickly. Damn it. A lot of... A lot of publishers, or at least AAA developers, are seemingly always just trying to make graphics more impressive and such without actually making it worth the amount of space that it takes up. Like, I... I've seen screenshots of uh, Black Ops 6, which is supposed to be coming out sometime soon or such. And uh, yeah, apparently that game's supposed to be 400 gigabytes. Oh, for love of... Yeah. I think that is why people are more and more going towards indie for... Uh, like, sure, people have... Many people have still faster internet nowadays, but still, even 400 gigs will take a lot of time. Yeah, and if you're just, your, that's just the, uh, that's also just discounting that you basically need to have a hard drive specifically for that damn game. Then that as well. So the, now you have this over. You may have too slow internet speed that will take several days, and you may disturb everyone else using the internet at your home. And yeah. of course, this space and the money and the bullshit known as Quad A. Yeah, with skull and bones. That just shows that you should never trust a single word about anyone in management of a game because they're more trained in marketing speak than anything actually to do with reality. I'm unsure of that for no one felt right. Yeah. At least because the, of the customers. Just just because they're familiar with it doesn't mean they're actually good with it. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, and I think even even why in the uh, in the rise for they remember the old school games we all loved and why we loved them, and they, yeah. they still innovate, but they don't do all the unnecessary things that will really result in so many gigs. The one outlier I would guess is uh, would probably be wild card. I, I think they are kinda indie. Mm. Oh, well, 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 maybe they were indie until Snail Games uh, got them. Yeah. This is a. There's a bloody lot of conspiracy theories around that, yep. so I'm not gonna enter. But yeah, Ark is one of those that is definitely. Some they did not they didn't think through on how to uh, do it. They wanted to look it looked triple A, and it did look just go massive, and a lot of things did not work as intended or just look awkward. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Marco, wasn't it 500 gigs? <laughs> Maybe, but still, just just that's just comparing a a rotten apple with an even more rotten apple. As the current topic reminds me of EA with FIFA. Yeah, all of those sports games and such. That's where uh, Angry Joe has been going on this for years. It's basically, with a lot of those big licensed sports games, they basically just re release the same game with minor tweaks every year. Uh. In, in some cases, they've even been caught uh, in the middle of that. Like that uh, one of the. That the well, "Quote unquote current game still had textures and such from the previous game." Uh, no, no, in a way, yeah, as in specifically, it's it's as is yeah, as in specifically, they still found banners and such in the game which had the last year on it. Bloody! So, uh, in a way, I can respect that you recycle and improve the engine a lot, but when you're actually reselling it as a full game. Yeah, then it's, it's basically a scam. Yeah, for... When you do it like that, and it's not a realist for an old game, and just a game for the last year, you just done that with, then you don't have to ask, why is this not just an update or a patch or pay DLC? Why is it sold as a new game for full because price? Then they, yeah, there you have it, full price. Yeah, that's when I have a problem. <clears throat> yeah, I've never been much for sports games, but that even I can just identify that that 
just a complete and utter scam. Yeah. Again, recycling proven old engine is fine, but when you are trying to trick people for something that he does again, as I said, sounds more like an update and upgrade that should just cost less. Yeah. But no, they they want a full price, if not even more. Yeah. Basically, the main problem with a lot of publishers and some developers, or generally the market in, in its entirety, is that uh, basically they won't take they uh, they want all the money, not enough money to keep them going or such. They want all the freaking money in the entire world, and if they do not make that, then they consider well everything a failure. Which is, yeah, this is well, you, you could have seen with I I can't name anything specific at the moment, but there were uh, yeah, that's just games that did really freaking well, and then the studio gets closed because uh, yeah, we want more money, and killing off a studio will cost it will yeah will ensure that we have less to that we need to spend, even though if we kept them around, they could. Well, make us a fuck ton more. Mm, it, yes. It, it's yeah, basically like he... uh, to put it in a, a, mm. uh, to put it in a maybe metaphorical way. It's basically uh, eating all of your cake today and starving tomorrow instead of just having a bit of cake every day for like a fucking month. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, the, the, I feel like EA and Auto Compass has done that and. Uh, yeah, have you even heard that some other times they just, due to they owning another game company's stock, just buy out the company and then fire everyone just to get rid of competition, which is despicable. Yeah. Because I think has been, people laws have been cracking down to make sure people are not allowed to do that in many countries. Except in one, as I'm aware of. USA, if I remember yeah, right. Course. Still allow it. Yeah, because in America, apparently guns have more rights than people. And I'm not even joking with that. Uh, but yeah, again. But there may, be, there may be some rotten apple in the studios, but there are many good apple. Uh, uh, well, yeah, good in the studios. That's an impressive statue. Yeah. What the heck? Second only to Lady Liberty herself. Well, got some peepers on it, though. Can't help but feel like it's uh, staring into my soul. What soul, Jeff? Nah, no biggie, I'm sure. I'm kind of expecting that New Game Plus will have like a translator function or something. That would be hilarious to just know what is being said. Uh, Legends of the Wind Waker has something like that in New Game Plus as well. <clears throat> nice. uh, anyways, before we continue, Marco, they were changing 10% uh, more each new release, and it wasn't even that good. The graphics were not AAA type, and the little tweaks were only adding loot boxes. Yeah, they, they even just were adding in stuff that they removed previously and called it a quote-unquote new feature. Uh. Uh, Marco, a good example of that is the studio that made Sunset Overdrive, but was, then was bought by Sony and just killed off. Yeah. Uh. Basically, uh, in my opinion, okay. publishers are an unnecessary middleman who not basically always... eat most of the cake. Not always, of course, but there's definitely a ton of abuse going off with, on with that. Like Revolve. Uh, Revol was it Revolver Digital? I, I forget the first word of it. They are a good publisher, but others like yeah, EA, and Activision and such, those can just go on you know, out to sea in a leaky boat. Yeah, uh, another good one would be K Coffee Steam, who is behind yeah. Valheim and Deep Rock. I, don't, I think they are behind more games. I don't think you should be just play them or not. Hmm. Let's see. Marco, some are good, but most nowadays, yeah. And Thanks. now it talks! Very cool! Still probably fine. Yeah, <laughs> denial isn't just a river in Egypt, Jeff. 
Oh, 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 oh it's stuck. Okay, red means dead. Shora, didn't you speak the language? Talk to it. Okay, lasers now as well. I'm afraid this thing only understands one language. Leave it to me. It's also the lang the only language that Jeff understands. Violence. Oh dear. Lost Guardian. I do have to. Okay. Sega. Sega. Uh, uh, I feel like they had a good reputation, but now this is kind of mixed. About Sega. Like they're doing good uh, good decisions, but also doing bad decisions as well. It reminds me I still need to take a look at that last few Sonic games. Like Dream Team, I... Hmm. I can't say I've heard anything too specific about it. Really? Get out. But nothing bad, too bad, nothing too good either, so I'll take that as decent news. Yeah. But if Sega's a good company, I cannot say for, again, the good and bad news coming from around them has been in equal measure, so it's kind of 50-50 as far as I know. I, it may be less greed, maybe a more of a good idea and occasionally bad idea that goes backfire here and there, perhaps. Yeah. Again, from what I know, I don't hear too much drama about them. Mostly it involves layoffs. Again, what company doesn't do layoffs and rehiring? Is again probably a, a different kind of work uh, we should not enter for. Uh. Yeah. <clears throat> I I kind of like how this thing is just expressionless. Which, well, it's a stone statue. <laughs> it cannot emote, anyways. Apple. Unless you very good the stone mansion to uh, make it eyebrows going up and down a little bit. There we go, that's how we need to get past that. Just dump a few of those into his shins. Okay, we're down to our last hit, but it's only halfway. Let's see. Let's see if we can win this. Dream Team is oh, mobile only. Okay, that's probably it adds in on the lack of info on it. Like, not oh. all mobile games are bad, or at least were. It's just that, well, the majority are. And then there's just yeah, so many half games, I'll call them. Basically, just copies of copies of copies. Yeah, and then we have those that are outright just scams, or in worst case scenarios, viruses. Yeah. And Dream Team was not only on mobile, it's only on Apple Store. Yeah, okay. This was bit, that's an example of a Sega doing a bad idea for... Yeah, not everyone has an Apple. Yeah, this platform exclusivity is just dumb these days. Oh, damn it. Yeah, and that one probably the dumbest sense. Most people will have a Switch. Or a PlayStation on Xbox or a PC, but an Apple, really? That like, uh, that feel like, like that the worst exclusivity you could have made. Yeah, it it is it is typically done, but it's always done to drive uh, sales of the consoles. But yeah, it's just still just a bad idea. Yeah, this was. It's out more like uh, like it's free on Apple Store apparently. I, I, I do believe there were there are slash were a few uh, 
Apple exclusive Castlevania games as well. Ugh. Oh, let's hear from Marco. No, it's on Android, but it's not free. It's free on Apple Store. Okay. It's so they wanted time. to. Okay, so the Apple wanted people to buy more Apple phones and whatnot just to get a free game. Really? That? Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is what, uh, an example of uh, where uh, Sega's done a uh, bad. Ooh. And I'm kind of surprised how they are. How? They have been having Rocky Bonnie as is. How would. Th this feels like something that would make it worse. Yeah, just idiots getting promoted instead of actually smart people. Kind of surprised that didn't count as a hit. Apparently its shoulders don't count. Yeah, I, I think with... I think many developers slash... Uh, publishers think that with exclusivity they can get a lot more sales, but I think having something be cross-platform will actually give you a lot more sales because, well, there's a lot more... In some cases it doesn't really work because sometimes other consoles or such don't have the hardware to run something, like... But that's more... I'd say that's more with handhelds, like the 3DS and such. Yeah, I don't... Switch is still impressive, considering if you look at the, some of the latest Zelda games on Switch or... Surprisingly impressive that they work on a Switch. And some people have done successful ports over to it. Some. Uh, apparently, the issue with the Switch is uh, it's not the easiest because of to port over to with some games. Uh, uh, yeah, and we, we've seen a few examples of that of uh, the Switch version being uh, <laughs> very downgraded. Oh, so sorry like for not responding to chat, but I kind of need to focus on the boss. Yeah, like I guess I think the worst one I've heard has been uh, art on Switch, which I wonder if this is probably fixed, but it's basically on a different game at this point. I'm still confused how they even like. We both know how big art is. How would they why put it over Good to a speed Switch? Up. It's beyond me. For it sounds like a way too big game. Yeah. The Switch is still really good for what it does, but it still has limitations with its processor and storage and such. Yeah. Which is even noticeable in the last two Zeldas. But they are coming up with, out with an uh, upgraded version this year, I believe. Or at least it was rumored to be. Uh, you mean the Switch 2? Yeah. Because I think it might be an entire new console, but... Uh... Yeah, I feel like I heard so Beetle seem to talk about you know, what to do, but seem to hint that uh, Nintendo yeah. may have observed the other consoles and decided to not go all ham on the tech. Since. Uh, 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 it was a little bit, but like, I can agree that, that Xbox has been very underwhelming, in, apparently. Yeah. Not many buy it. And PlayStation 5, well, good, has another problem. Must be hard to buy. But they're always out yeah, of stock scalpers. and all that. Yeah, that was that more scalpers. Well. But though, n just not making enough production, that can also be... Yeah, that's, that should also be pointed out when it is this, the, the fault of the of the developers and such. Yeah, and the right. a Switch is probably haven't had too much issues. It has been, well, it's not too expensive and it's good for the price. Oh, damn it. Or rather, surprisingly good for its price. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this guy, well, it's a stone statue. Of course it has a fuck ton of health. Oh, but I am getting it. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> well, I, can, I can understand now why, can I, why many indie games have slowly gone to PlayStation, but also more and more to Switch as well. 
Like, there's many indie games that have been on Steam that gone to Switch. Hmm. Uh, let's see, Marco... Ta -ta -ta, free and uh, there's a lot of games that you have to pay for on Android, but end up being free on Apple. Uh, that's the case with the new Final Fantasy games. They're exclusive on the PlayStation 5, and fans have to either buy the console and the game, or wait years for a port to another console. Yeah, that, that's also been going on with... I think it's I think it's been less, but with uh, the Epic Store, that they basically poached games from Steam, and were, you know, they would still release a year later on Steam, but... Uh, yeah, in some cases, people just went uh, no thanks. Like that, uh, they that the developers managed to kill off any hype for their game by just well, hmm, don't want to reuse too strong a word, but basically just uh, seemingly abandon their fans by taking an exclusivity. We have talked about this before. In some cases, it has been it's in some cases had been it has been really helpful to get games released and well made better but in some cases people just took the exclusivity money released the game and fucked off yeah hmm. bloody heck and also yeah the, sure steam takes more of the money but they also it, provide you will a lot have more to... support and such yeah but also if you have a sale on steam more game it will it will not matter for this, so much of it will be hopefully sold to compensate for it. Yeah. Like it, exclusivity and such is a trade off between uh, just. Yeah, the amount of. Mm, a trade off between availability and uh, your market rates. Uh, I, yep, yep. I, I probably just butchered that. But basically, if, when you have an exclusive product then you just have a much smaller market to sell games to. Yeah, it doesn't help with it. Epic's reputation. It doesn't help either, which is why they don't want to buy from Epic to begin with. Yeah. Like, sure, they take less of a cut, but... That cut is not used on anything. They, they did not improve their platform at all. They bragged like they're awesome, but they're not. Yeah. Like, it, they rather... it took... I don't even know if they ha even have a, a shopping cart at the moment. That, that was one thing that... It's a store. Oh, they, you would expect there to be a, a shopping cart option in your freaking store. They have. Okay, I they feel have like it now? I think they no. got it like four years after they launched, or five years after they launched. I think that says enough to me. Yeah. It, 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 it basically feels like they wanted to be the better option without actually putting in effort. And I'm just going to die because I, no, no way I was getting through all of that. So with just three hearts left. Yeah, and there is a better option besides Steam, but that's GOG. Yeah, and Geo, with GOG, you can generally expect the games to function. But some games um, some games that are on Steam and GOG, the GOG version is superior because they put in a lot of uh, patches, sometimes even fan patches. Yeah, but here's the thing with GOE. They don't do a lot of marketing, but they have a good reputation thanks by word of mouth. Yeah. However, I have learned something recently that is a bit concerning, but I'm not surprised. Apparently, Maybe. look at this country. Might be USA or another country that are launching a uh, monopoly lawsuit against Steam. Okay, that that would be uh, that I would support because well they they do tech um, they don't have a complete monopoly out, but they do just have a super majority of the market of digital distribution. Yeah, but then at the same time, you can't stand why for Steam do show that they care about the platform and their games and all that, and... Mm, maybe not much some would disagree games. with just the amount of absolute crap games on the system, but yeah. they are generally more... If something does come up, they generally do act on it, though. Yeah, they, they do try to make sure we don't have uh, bullshit things, like... 
a certain current steam. Steam, how you said, outset said no, but they, uh, they did investigation. They feel like that it's way too shady and shitty to have on the platform, so they declined it totally. Epic on the hand, look at it. No, not worry, we will support that weird currency. And I, everybody just looked at them. Are you tone deaf? And I'm not going to say what currency I'm talking about, is I think. It's not a country currency. It's one of those. Yeah. I, 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 I think uh, people will get what I mean. It's not a country currency. It's one of those weird things that everyone's scamming about. And uh, they are. Epic Games are supporting them openly with pride. They think they're good guys. It's definitely. Makes you question again. your sanity at the very least. Yeah. Well, I don't, don't think. Technically, Steam don't have Monopoly. Does it doesn't outright okay. compete with Yugi aggressively? I don't think they care about each other or they're physically healthy. Like I, I think they respect each other's boundaries and then do do anything like that. Epic is just They try a lot of things. And people are reacting badly to it, but it feels like oh just all shady. Yeah, but with Epic, with the Epic Game Store, I kind of get the feeling they're trying to be the cool kid in the playground without, well, actually putting in the required effort. Okay, last uh, phase, I'm hoping. Actually, I think I have a, okay, maybe not perfect metaphor, but I may have a metaphor for a certain Disney character from my goof troop. Pete? Uh, yeah, the car salesman Pete. Well, I guess we could also compare the uh, use stands from, uh, yeah. Gravity Falls. No, no, not that Stan. Stan from uh, yeah. Monkey Island. Monkey Island. <laughs> like, they say God, they have it. an awesome product, but you realize this is a horrible product. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they are rather... Yeah. From what I've seen of them and all that, they seem rather tone deaf. And for people wondering, I don't want to say full currency name because I feel like if I say it, it feels cursed. <laughs> this probably doesn't help always. For there are times I talk with the Helian about things, and I don't say the word because I feel like if I say it, something bad will happen. Basically, a jinx word or something. Ooh, ow. Yeah. Someone at the doorbell, apparently. Oh, come on, just a few more hits on the both of us. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I can see why Steam always have a monopoly beside Yugi. Again, it's because they are still providing a good service and maybe have For the it. most part. Mm. There, there, there is a lot. There is a lot of stupid stuff and shady stuff that does happen on the you know, Steam store, but generally when a big enough fuzz is kicked up over it, they will act. That's right. Lights out, creepy eyes. Oh, we knocked it off its pedestal, huh? Uh, more like she, Jeff. You just contributed grenades. Get it, Shura? <laughs> pedestal? <laughs> Be because... Yes, yes, I get it. I get it. Whose side was oh, old creepy eyes on anyway? Sure didn't look like one of Creed's. No, no. It looked, it looked ancient. ancient. I think there may be more to this island, island than, we than we thought. What's with that look on her? <laughs> yeah, it's like she's giving it the evil eye. Mm. Or she spots something in the corner of her eye. Uh, let's see, Marco. Ta -ta -ta. I just have Epic for the free games that they have sometimes. So, yeah, that is nice, but it feels it to me, and it might just be me. It feels like a bait on the end of a hook. Yeah, like. It's cool. I wonder if I can I use, I that. Can use that. Hmm. Sometimes I don't get why somebody gives like. Total accurate battle simulator was free for a short time on Epic, which I may feel like. Why they're stealing early access, or they just early access? They just release, and I feel like they're gonna lose money on that. 
What? Why? It's, it's, there's a trick with uh, consoles as well that uh, <clears throat> lose money on the sales of the console but make uh, money on the sales of the games. Because let's be honest, console games almost never go on discounts. Especially Nintendos. Like, they are typically always 60 bucks or 50. Uh, I'm sorry to break you, but I actually got a few games on sale. Heavy sales on the Switch a few times now. And on PlayStation. I actually recently bought Titan Quest on, a, on a, like 80% off. Okay, there are exceptions, of course, but generally in the in physical stores and such, they tend to hardly ever get discounted. And when they do, it's typically just the store itself doing that. <clears throat> yeah. Like in, in, in physical stores, yeah, they are on discount there. I should look if there is actually still a gaming store in even in the freaking province because there was one prominent one, but that's been closed and turned into a hair salon or something, which is a shame. But yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, we we have probably a few that you they can buy uh, pre-owned games, but yeah, uh, only only place that you always can buy new games. If Lucky or Pleasure they sell consoles, TVs, and such. Okay, we're toy stores in my area at least. <clears throat> but yeah, let's move on. Yep. What's she sure getting her second? For? Yep. Laser beam fires a long range laser damaging all enemies in its path. Okay. <laughs> it sure was firing her laser. Okay, she repaired her ray gun. Let's see. Oh, hello. Okay, just aim, then hold, or you can... It, yeah, it fires when I release the button, to put it simple. Holy! I think I realized something you can say about Epic and Steam. This is probably why Steam is still in a way more popular. Mm -hmm. Every stupid thing that everyone hates, Steam won't do most of the time. A majority of time. But Epic will be the one that will look at it and go, Opportunity! And they will do it without realizing why everyone hates it. Yeah. Okay. Oop. I should have expe and I should have expected icicles. Oh dear. As far as Yugi, I think most of them are successful because they actually actually able to take time and to try and fix as many of the games as possible for people to play it, uh, to this day. Yeah, they, they focus more on older games as well, I believe. There's still plenty of uh, current games on there. Especially their own work, like Cyberpunk and such, but they just have a ma they have a much bigger library of older games, like nineties, yeah. eighties, and such. Yeah, do they? Do oh, they're all selling some new ones that are. But usually, if there's a new game, it's usually come out on Yugi and on Steam. Yeah. Creed news issue number thirty-seven. Dear minions, this is your gracious and benevolent commander, Doctor Creed. How about this weather today? Shall we begin with good news? The deranged blast agent Jeff Jefferson has been successfully apprehended. How wonderful, but let's move on to bad news. Thanks to your complete and utter incompetence, you worthless cretins, Agent Jefferson managed to escape. But wait, there's more. Reports say he's apparently joined forces with the Soviet assassin who's been wreaking havoc on my island for these past few months. You know what? The baking contest is cancelled. Creed out. <laughs> Uh, Creed's wait, such an asshole, but he's an amusing asshole. I think yeah, I think it was a notice earlier or something about a baking contest. Oh yeah, I forgot about it. Okay. Let's see if we can get a higher angle on those. Okay, I just want to think about it. I think it's kind of things to Yugi and especially Steam. 
Minecraft and mainly indie developers are having success. Oh, yeah. some degree of success. Yeah. yeah, digital distribution is a lot cheaper than physical copies and such. Which has its pros and cons, like... It is... It is easier to lose access to your games and such if you don't have physical copies. But it also saves a lot on physical store headspace. As much as I would love to just have uh, a case for all of the games that I have, it it would probably cover an entire freaking wall. Yeah, but in a way, it's, it, 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 it kind of would be nice in a way if you think about it. It, it, it would be like having a bookshelf with books. There's yeah. something calming about it, if that makes sense. Yeah, reassuring more, maybe. Yeah. Ew. Ah, man, mine. Oh, yeah. Many times I do, like, when it comes to console, I would prefer physical copy. Because, again, it will save space on the console. And it would mean that I will download, I don't know the game, I will download the patches for it. But still, uh, I still feel a bit 50 50. Bring. But uh, I, th I think Switch is one of the pl curious places that indie games have been able to do physical releases. Yeah, even a, if in a few times, time, I believe. Yeah, even though in some cases it has been limited. So, as I said, I'm impressed how much games they can fit in those tiny things, cartridges. They have made it some so small. And yeah. I think I said this before. Yeah, well, it's impressive. I feel like, okay, you can make it so small. Why not have it at least the size of a Game Boy Advance cartridge? At least. Then you can have more in the game. Freaking icicle. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for... Here's one thing with those that tiny cartridges on a Switch. And I think even on uh, 3DS. They're so I, I... small that a baby can swallow them. Or you can yeah. drop them and lose them or something like that. I, I think with the cartridges, it's mostly just the base of the game and that most of the rest gets installed onto the uh, hard onto the hard drive of the uh, the of the switch. Could be wrong on that. Like I, we have no, no. we have some really <laughs> good SSD tech these days with just how much you can fit onto a like a a little you know, flash drive. Yeah, um, uh, you're definitely correct, but that's kind of how it works. Like, you have the base game, then you have uh, the patches and such downloaded into the consoles. You still, again, have the base game in these school portraits, we still save a little space. But for me, the portraits thing with Switch and 3DS is more of an issue of why so small? Is it only point that it is a bit too small? It's concerning. Like, very small, too small. Like, I think I said this before lo years ago. If they start making cartridges at uh, the shape of a damn needle, I think they're gonna fall far by then. Yeah, I doubt anything like that will happen. But yeah, it is again that stupid thing. It is easy to lose the discs and such. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, something there, I thought so. But yeah, I think that was most more done so that they would well fit in the in the console and such. And leave more yeah. space for well stuff of the <laughs> stuff of the console itself. Let's see. I wonder, why are they excavating this mountain? That's the thing about evil geniuses, Red. They don't need a reason to excavate things, it's just something they do. Every mission I've been on, there's always a mad bag like tree, and there's always some sort of digging. It's best not to think about it. Hmm. I'm not big on thinking in general, are you, Jeff? I can't overthink something if I've never thunk it in the first place, darling. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's probably digging off the minerals and all that to uh, 
deal with everything to do. I think he's more digging for ancient tech or something. Like, uh, the golem from just earlier. Uh. But yeah, I, I'm looking forward to the switch too. Be it ew, be it out entirely new or just an upgrade. I'm presuming it's, it's an upgrade. I I also hope they call it Switch Two and not something else new name. For I feel like they have a good model here. Yeah. <clears throat> And well, as good as this, you know, as good as the Switch can run some things, there are still very noticeable drawbacks here and there, like with uh, <clears throat> with Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, and Pokemon Scarlet Violet. There's a lot of uh, load in and such, and some slowdown at some points. So just having a bit a stronger processor in there, mm, yes. or I'm not even sure if the Switch has an SSD or an HDD. Uh. But, Hmm. I think that M M MSSD, a micro version of the SSD. Uh, uh, something, yeah. I'm not sure. As, as long as it has a good upgrade in uh, processing ability and memory, I'll probably get it. The same. Like, I, I have been wanting to get a PS5. Probably is. I don't know what to get for PS5. It's probably yeah. why I delayed it for so long. All the times I bought a PS3 or PS4, there was a game I wanted. And I bought the console with it. Easily. But for PS5? I actually been struggling. Like, I have some ideas, but... Not really been rush. Yeah, that's in part of exclusivity that's... For some, spe uh, that 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 people will get consoles for specific games and such. Yeah, I actually got yeah, switched because need, of this guy here. Yeah, you actually need to have a game good enough to get you know, to have people want it. What have we here? Yeah. Bloody heck! But yeah, I might actually get the Switch 2 and maybe PS5. Depends for. I feel this. I feel that this long. I think I talked about this before, I'm sure I talked about this on Steam, on stream, I mean. Like, the, 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 there is some very good uh, benefits with consoles, usually. Yeah. They live longer than a computer. And you don't need to work. Uh, really, ice? Yeah, we have ice physics now. Also, oh. no. Yeah, oh, no. you're set. You, you don't need to worry about upgrading for a good few years. Yeah. yeah. And here's the thing, if you take care of it and clean it up, or, or you let it out, it, a console will live for years after it's redundant. You can still play your old games on it. Yep. There's still functional PlayStation 1s and such, for example. Indeed. On a computer? Uh, that's gonna be a struggle. While I do like the games I have my Steam uh, account and all that, I do try to make sure I have games a bit more spread out and not all one basket, if that makes sense. Yeah. For, imagine Ow. if I, I had no consoles and only computer games. Imagine but never, where my computer breaks down, huh, and, and I'd be dead then. Yeah. Nothing hidden there. So, yeah. And most people I know, especially kids, even agree that uh, having a computer is good, but it's always good to at least have one or two consoles if you can afford it. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, even that, then, that's probably why I also like consoles is for, at least, they they keep up with uh, having physical copies for longer than PCs, after all. Yeah. Though they are also dipping into digital stores, but a lot of times it's with, yeah, for older, for, uh, 
<coughs> making older games available again, or just indie stuff. Yeah. Yep, not falling for nope. that again. One of the reasons I want to get the PS5 is for the it or supposedly make it so you can play a PS4 or 3 disc on it. Yeah, backwards compatibility. Yeah. Because I feel like as long as they keep the CD driver on PS5 Pro and I can play my old games on it, I feel like, okay, I'm not going to say my PS4, but I feel like, all right, I have a console, it could be a good backup if this whole thing did happen with my old console. Not damn it. But they also have done some stupid thing, like with Slim, you, they had this, uh, so that uh, if you need to replace, you see the reader, you can connect the new one to the internet, verify it. I think you see the problem there, what will be quickly. Yeah. Especially when the that servers for that would ev likely eventually be uh, cut off. Yeah, so it's a case of pray the heck that your CD driver never breaks. For the regular PS5, you don't have uh, that issue. Only PS Slim so far. So I'm praying they don't import that bad idea to PS5 Pro. Or if they do, and uh, they don't sell regular PS5 anymore, I am not sure if I will get one then. Yeah. That's the path to the heart piece. There. Okay. This oh, again. Did we talk about the lower consoles and whatnot of gaming today? Yeah. Uh, I must have forgot to make food. Oh yeah, I will see if I get PS5. I may get PS uh, Switch 2 or whatever they call it. I hope just Switch 2 that for the ease of things. Yeah. But yeah. I just pray the consoles will don't uh, enter a dark age due to stupidity. Yeah. But yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Yeah. For on a, on consoles, which is still surprisingly... Bye -bye. And the Nintendo Switch supposed to the one they're doing the best, but they actually apparently being smart about everything they do. To a degree, uh, except for... Yeah. Oh, uh, the MCA bullshit. What? Yeah, they're, they're still on with a lot of DMCA stuff. Like, less on videos and such. But, yeah, they have been going after ROM sites. Of which you could argue it's not entirely legal, but in, in a lot of cases, those games are just impossible to get legally anymore. Or even if you could get them, you need to buy them secondhand at extremely inflated prices. So they are not selling them anymore, so... Yeah. Yeah, what I mean is they are not self-sabotaging many of their uh, consoles too much. So they, I do feel like they should probably, yeah, be a bit more careful, but at least they're no longer hunting YouTubers, but I have realized, oh, making playthrough of the game is free advertisement. Yeah. They've got a few years to get that in their heads. Yeah. It's important because Japan doesn't have, like, fair use laws and such. They do! They actually do! Okay, but... Probably more or less a stand then or something? Uh... It's more that there's a line. That should not be crossed. Like, there are a lot of crossover of references in a lot of anime and all that. If they are used, but there is a line that should not be crossed. Like, if it is a blatant outright copy, then they will step in. Hmm. And uh, 
when they came to YouTube, they actually feared that, oh, if they're just gonna watch the games played on YouTube, they're not gonna buy the game. What I didn't realize is the watching people play a game makes you wanna buy the game. I did not yeah. realize that part. It, it's basically free advertising. Not, not everyone will buy the game, of course, but more people will be made aware of the game. So yeah, it is basically free advertising they're spitting in the face of. Yeah, dude, what some people who want to, who were kind of worse? They wanted people to, uh, YouTubers to pay them fees to be allowed to play their games on YouTube. Yeah. In early days of YouTube, it was maybe one or two companies that tried that, that and uh, they did not do well. Yeah. That's how you get boycotts. Which, well, don't just stop the stuff do, you know, doing it, but it'll also make a lot of people mad at you. And mad fans do not forget, do not forgive. Fast travel. Okay. <laughs> this one has a chicken on a fire. Okay. <laughs> Okay, power nap. Let's see, I don't think we have anything to bring... Well, we have three of those kits. Uh, let's see, we also have this one now. Muscle memory, all support guns have a 33 chance to double fire. If we had an extra battery, I might get that, but... Nah. Whenever we... Those magnificent creatures bring a tear to my eye. <laughs> Don't you just love eagles? No. I guess you wouldn't, huh? But you'd be crying if that were a grizzly bear wearing one of those funny hats. <laughs> my problem with the eagle is not the symbol it's become, but the lack of meat it can provide. <laughs> you eat eagle? Tastes like chick, <laughs> of course. Um, okay. I was in the kitchen when I heard this. Don't eat eagles. <laughs> what I'm pretty sure is illegal. And here's the thing. You don't want to eat a predator to begin with. Yeah, lead buildup and all sort that sorts of stuff as well. Uh, that's more only predatory short and all that. But if a land predator is more of... is less nourishment in it. So uh, yep. you actually get more from eating, uh, okay, as an example, you get more nourishment from eating a deer compared to eating a wolf. Yeah. As well, predators are more likely to catch a um, disease. Yeah. Hmm. I'm kind of curious when we'll get a new main weapon, uh, really. Also, I like it how it puts us back on stable ground and not on ice or size. That's kind of an obvious thing, for otherwise you'd be in a death loop. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, what well, I was about to say. Got it. Uh, yeah, there's a reason why we don't eat um, vultures. That's maybe less reason to eat those for vultures. Yeah. Oh, they, they are immune to a lot of things from carcasses. They are mainly not, not all of them, but the day ones that actually eat carrion are immune to many of these things. Yeah. So if you decide to eat them, congratulations, so you've them. invited uh, Nurgle into your body. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Like, some there has been people who have tried it uh, to eat carrion. Probably some have done it out of desperation and realized. Uh, this is what I noted. It tastes horrible. It should be also enough said. Well fuck. Yeah, and then of course the risk of uh, the diseases. Anything of interest Ooh. down here? Yeah. We're going to need to go down anyways, it seems. Don't don't eat eagles to begin with, and they are even an animal that's needed for a good, healthy ecosystem. Okay, 
can't have... Ow. I, I keep falling for those stupid things. Okay. Let's see. Oop, I just... It, not this time. <laughs> okay. Ow. Oh dear, I no, remember that he is something here. Uh, was someone in a air balloon that went to the North Pole? They never reached the North Pole, but they, they did reach the Arctic. But they did, if I remember, they did find their bodies. And they had... Yeah. Here's the thing, they, they, they survived by eating polar bears. But it's also what killed them. Probably not a live one, I'm presuming. Uh, more than that of the parasites the polar bears had, along with other things they had in them. Yeah. And a polar bear is, unlike other bears, fully carnivorous. Yep. So any parasites and what it eats will end up in you as well. Yeah, along with other diseases. So, yeah, in Arctic and you're eating polar bears, yeah, it won't go well. I, th I think I have heard that seals are safer to eat, but apparently seals taste bad. This makes me even wonder why the heck did he almost get hunted to extinction? For it sounds so horrible to... But hunt anything to extinction is horrible enough. But only for the fur? Just... I feel like there's a level of stupidity there. Yeah, furs... Well, furs are, have always been a big business. And yeah, basically the... To my knowledge, the mindset with that typically was like, uh, okay, we've hunt we can't find this species anymore. Let's go look for another one to uh, the skin. Yeah, I'm just glad we have it. For the mo we, we, we are stepping on it heavily, and it's getting harder and harder for poachers to do these kind of things. They, they actually now, of course, suppose it's illegal to do that now. Yeah, but, uh, it's least, been for a it, while, but yeah, like. It's probably allowed, like, if you're hunting a deer and you eat it and you have the fur and antlers, yes, sure, you'll be allowed to pick a truth of that and do something with the fur, since you hunted that legally. Yeah. And it's not endangered. But you're not uh, hunting it for the sake of uh, just for that horn and just don't give the body away, like... Yeah. Th Sumo knows a, a lot of places in Africa have basically gone with a shoot on sight uh, mandate for suspected poachers. Yeah, but some poachers have been coming extre done extreme things to try to keep the business going when it's a very much dying business. Yeah, figuratively and literally, because, well, they're literally killing off their stock. Yep, and there's another thing happening that probably infuriates poachers. When it comes to elephants. Yeah. They just it, fighting back, I believe. Yep. Uh, that too, but here's the thing. Elephant tusk has been getting shorter and shorter each generation. Yeah, because they keep they, killing off the ones with long ones, so the gene pool loses the, the gene for long tusks. Yeah, and apparently many of the females actively avoid the one with the biggest tusks now, even. Remember, elephants are not idiots. They remember. Yeah. I, I, I recall one... I, I recall a story of one... A woman who got crushed by an elephant because... I forget specifically what she was doing to them. I don't know if she was just harassing them or just abusing them. Enough to piss off a bull, at least. And then the fucking thing came back to trample on her again during her burial. Yeah, so, yeah. I remember. <laughs> They remember and will spite you for as long as they can. Yeah, how, there was me something similar, but on a positive end. Someone held elephants so much, so when they, this man died, the elephants went to his grave. Year after year after year after year. After year. They still doing this after five generations visiting yeah. his grave. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting him to say anything new, but I'm presuming the last line was about him being captured, or like, I heard you got captured, uh, Roger, but I escaped. Are you sure about that? Perhaps you opened your mouth so much that they just left the back door open and hoped you'd wander out. <laughs> Not what happened, but that would still technically be escaping, Darmus. At least you've brought, uh, uh, you've brought back Captain O'Hara. Finally, a professional is calling the shots. What do you mean? I'm a professional. You're a professional jackass. Professional headache, perhaps. <laughs> Go do something useful. I have stuff to engineer. Oh. But as as the people, elephants remember. Yeah. Be good to them, they will remember you. Be bad to them, they will remember you. Yeah, they will definitely <laughs> remember you then. Let's see anything new from you? Jefferson, got a minute? Roger Dodger. Just to lay it all out here, our jets destroyed and our crews captured. We're low on supplies with no way to call for support and our only ally is a Soviet spy. Right, but that's the job, yeah? You're sure, sh you're sure shooting a volatile laser at an unhinged madman's fortress is the best way forward? Tourist cap, nothing beats a giant laser. Trust me, I know lasers like the back of my hands. See the scars? Trust me, he says. All right, Jefferson. You can't make things any worse. Watch him yeah, just laser the entire village here. Yeah, she's definitely not the fourth character, but that's the wrong hairstyle. Why don't she cuts it later? Agitated word. Jeff still can't understand. Sorry, buddy. Still can't understand you. More anger and annoyance. <laughs> Why didn't, uh, why didn't heed my warning? I clearly told you, don't go that way or you'll be captured by Creed. <laughs> ah, words. Those were words I know. I've picked up a bit of the native tongue. Easy to tra enough to translate. Who are you? Where's Big Dummy? <laughs> Big Dummy? Do you mean Jeff? Well, you see... Ah, you are spirit friends. I've heard of such things, of course, as well as a great many things. This is why they call me Uruk the Wise. Or Ur 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 Uruk the Wise. I defaulted to Uruk from Lord of the Rings. Wrong franchise! <laughs> Uruk the Wise. I'm the wisest person on this island, you see? With the exception of the Holy Sentinel, of course. Holy Sentinel? Ah. The mighty protector of our island, who is devastating sorcery, is unequaled in skill. Holy Sentinel is rad. <laughs> yeah, be wise like me, Uku. Hide in a bush and wait until the Sentinel defeats the Creed. But not this bush. This bush is mine. Um. Okay. And I'm gonna check on my food. So, um. Yeah, you know, the usual. Don't die. Don't get eaten. No and promises. don't eat random mushrooms. Ew. Almost got caught by a stupid icicle again. Okay. At least now we have this sword cut opened, I believe. Yep. There. Actually, probably better to shotgun these and just gun down the offspring then. <laughs> okay, there. Yeah, those those beetles with the stones in their back. Well, of course they are only vulnerable from the front and back. Makes sense. Okay, here we are again. Uh, let's yeah, let's go this way. Yep. I'm keeping a better eye out for those things. There. Okay. And yeah, the big laser and the smaller ones are going off at the same time each time. Actually, can we? Yes, we can reach it from here. So no need to jump over. There we go. Hmm. Music getting a bit more of a beat to it, apparently. It feels like it's building up a bit. Towards something. There's probably like a boss at the bottom of this. 
okay. I, what is this supposed to mean here? Let's see. Uh, oh, lost death points. Okay, makes sense. And I'm back, and I thought of something. I feel like we talked this about uh, this before. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we can talk on and on about something that's not related to the game, like console, Steam, and all that. And other mm -hmm. times, the game provide us something to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> like. A funny comment. We, we talked about birds, not to eat them, and then we somehow went into elephants. Hmm. Okay. So, Most of these challenge rooms have been where you can go into them and get something up with some with the gear you already have, but this one seems to be an exception since we can't jump high enough to get through that. Yeah. Right. Sometimes I'm actually kind of glad that we can have a lot of things to talk about. Sometimes I do feel like some topics may be left alone. Yeah. Like, I feel like they talk about Steam, Ethical. We've been on it before, and I feel like everyone has heard about the story already. Yeah, to some degree at least. No, at the same time, no, 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 it's no. probably a good, good way for us to vent our frustrations about some things at times. Yeah. Thank you. Oh dear. Oh, oh, hello, there's something. Okay, that's a pa that's a passageway back, I'm presuming. Because that looks like the ones that we can destroy from the back. Okay, it, it doesn't show exactly where we died, because I'm pretty sure we didn't die here. But it shows where the, the loot bug is, as I'll just call it for the moment. I think I've called it that before, actually. Also, is there something here? No. There is something here, though. Okay. Hmm. Not those, so let's switch over to Jeff for a sec. Because he can just instant kill them with a grenade. Okay, we can't go that way because there's another blockage. Okay, this way it is. You. You. Hmm. Okay, so something else to actually talk about for a bit is. I, I have most. Uh, I have mostly uh, decided on what to stream after we're done with uh, the Battle of Middle Earth games. So once we finish <laughs> two tomorrow in the restream uh, or in the redo, and after we finish off Rise of the Witch King as well, of course. Uh... Oh, hello. Yeah, we'll be going. Uh, we'll be uh, redoing these Team World the Dig games. As well as adding in uh, Qu Steam World Quest and Steam World Heist. Yeah, and Aragami. Yep. For Aragami, I was there, but it was before we posted it on YouTube. Already when I joined, I started to suggest ideas for us to post it on YouTube. I feel like one of the reasons they strengthened that he actually be ha got happy when we started doing it was, uh, well, Twitch started to do the whole thing about going from two weeks to just one. Yeah. And by then, uh, I had already convinced him. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, uh, it's not... Uh, it's not... Uh, origami we're mixing with uh, Crisis when we go back to that one, or rather, we oh, right. actually streamed the first game. I don't remember if we actually streamed Crisis 2 or not. I, I can't know actively remember that. I know before I joined, you screen shared me Crisis pre while you were streaming it. So yeah, we'll be yeah. When we get to that, we'll uh, we'll do uh, <clears throat> Aragami and Crisis. Uh, but yeah, after we're done with Battle of Middle Earth, it'll be well redoing Steam World Dig One and Two as well as uh, Mark of the Ninja. 
because I we didn't upload that, or that was before we uploaded. And we'll we'll finish. Yeah, we'll also put in Rayman Redemption, which is a fan version of Rayman One, since well we we streamed everything from Rayman Two to Legends, the most recent uh, of the mainline Rayman games. I'm not sure if I was there yeah. with Mock of the Ninja, but Steamworks, I knew you talked about your stream those, but that was way before I even joined. What do we have here? At Atlantean Stone Claws allows you to cling Wait. to walls for a short time. Wait, hold on. Atlantean. Yep, well, that that's a bit of a spoiler on what sort of ancient civilization we're looking for here. Yeah, wait, wait. What? What did I say uh, what, uh, we were located currently? Of which ocean? Hmm, don't actually remember. Yeah. Well, if I say Atlantic really. Ocean, then yeah, we should have expected Atlantis. Okay, so now we can cling to walls for a bit. And now we're back here. Okay, but we need to be up there. So, up, up and away. Okay, this is a more general thing, so everyone can do this. <laughs> What's with that look? Okay, I like that they aren't even actually using the claws, they're using some of their own equipment. Shortcut. Okay, get up, lazy bones. Actually, let's take a yeah, let's take a look at the PDA. Uh, yeah, we don't have any extra batteries. Uh, cliff size of support guns. Let's actually remove that for a bit. Hmm. Actually, let's keep that, just in case. Hmm. I still should do all I can to try and avoid damage wherever possible. Okay. There. I like that this is... I like with this wall cling we... Oh. I like that we can just jump upwards instead of having to jump back and forth between walls. Not to say that... Uh, uh, not to say that wall jumping is bad, but it can be annoying at times. And yeah, it's not all the walls that we can cling to. They need to be somewhat straight. Not chunky like this here. Hello again, you sniper. Missing the big one. There. Okay, we have a lot more money than we actually need at the moment. So we should probably try to save up uh, these kits to upgrade the shop. Like a very damn good idea. <clears throat> also, I find that the top of Atlantis is very interesting. You know, uh, 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 quick disclaimer I'm not a blind believer really? Atlantis exists. I'll be there's a chance, but I'm not blindly believing it. And there's so many Atlantis theories and claims that they are, I feel like just is um, almost near cult I level. I forgot. <laughs> the grappling hook is sure a stick. But yeah, whenever I look about Atlantis and whether they say they have a new proof of Atlantis, I'm always a bit careful. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some sort of sunken colony or something, maybe. Not a full-out civilization or such. And I very much doubt that they would be more high, yeah, more technically advanced than what we have these days. Yeah, and I always wonder where they, they got the advanced part. Or... If it, the, the advanced part will depend on uh, from who's, someone else's point of view. Yeah. 
Uh, wanted Captain O'Hara. Nickname Nicole O'Hara. Occupation Blast Pilot. Background Lunar Force Astronaut. Lunar Campaign Veteran. Place Friends Horn. Wanted for escaping and evading Creed forces. Aiding Jeff Jefferson. Bring, being the brains of Blast Tragedy. Apprehend Dead or Alive. Lunar Campaign Veteran. Wait. <laughs> was there a was there a war for the for the, the moon at one point or another? I know there was one uh, apparently in uh, Fallout, but here, really? I'm not sure. I know there was a DLC with Fallout. Actually, no, was I don't think there was one for the moon or something. Oh, uh, there, there, there is a DLC for the moon. Hmm. But apparently, there's apparently hints at a museum that they held in wars on the moon. Hmm. I'd need to check or, in on stuff like that. Yeah, no, this is more of a theory for this is one of the things that people. Alright. There seems to have a artwork in a museum that seems to hint at it, but people are a bit uh, 50 50 on it. Yeah, it could just as well be propaganda, which, well, the Fallout world is full of. Yeah, so people are rather looking at it carefully and trying to figure out, are they serious, how much is it true, or how much bullshit is it? Yeah, and yeah, also, to clarify, with that I mean in-world propaganda. So it, yeah. it always still amuses me when people say that Fallout isn't supposed to be a critique of capitalism and such. Like, are you even playing the game? <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that sounds like people who refuse to see the benefit or the be uh, or rather, it sounds like people who well, that either either don't they pay attention, don't care, or blindly refuse to see the flaws of capitalism. Yeah. Like, there's a pro and cons on everything, but if you blindly ignore the, the cons, that's the problem. That's a, that's a fight arena. Uh-oh. And we only have three hits, so let's see how this goes. Uh-oh. Bomb engineer. Oh dear. It was the oh, first. Yeah. I do believe it, there might be a chance for Atlantis to exist. They maybe have some more advanced alloy making with the more calcium thing. But we have found an alloy we guess in is all the calcium for so many metals in that alloy. But uh, Atlantis being something like uh, we see in uh, Stargate Atlantis? Uh, no, 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 yeah, no. Not, not, not that advanced. They might have better. had uh, better. Uh, Build techniques, better weapon and armor, not such, and all that. Better ships, better metallurgy, but not outright sci-fi. Yeah. Let's see. We need a, a hammock. Almost done in again by a stupid icicle. Yeah, and as for the sinking. Earthquakes could probably devastate a uh, shallow uh, land or shallow country, like Doggerland, the land between England and Norway. That one where it was sank when the ice smel mel melted. And that's what, yeah. look, that's more of the over yet, main thing is flooded over. You know, you were almost going to say ice smelted, huh? Yeah. But. Yeah, but we have a lot of things that uh, could have gone underwater in a slow period of time. And with the ancient memories going on and on, some details may get exaggerated, lost, or altered. Yeah. So like they just, are... Just look at when, whenever people are doing like uh, Gartic phone games, or I believe that's what it's called. We're just passing along a message, and damn it, you, it, it gets changed just through a, a dozen people. It already gets changed a, a ton. So, how much would you, 
how much do you think uh, it would a story would change across centuries? Yeah. It passed through thousands of people. Indeed. And we have proof there has been a flood that may have inspired other flood stories. And Atlantis yeah. could be a civilization that got was picked for, for it. Could be. But they have a, the Eye of Sahara up uh, there is a circle. And I have found proof that some people have lived there. Mostly by pots and some bones. But some people have speculated that a flood could have swept over there long ago and just wrecked the entire place. But yeah, mm. a lot of theories. I like listening to them, but I always have to be careful over yeah. how, how crazy they go. But I also try to be just to remember that it's a theory, a candidate. Some people yeah. are quick to say this is proof. When we obviously need more research in theory, like, boy, we have a candidate. Let's investigate before we make a decision. Yeah. Hmm. On that, I'd like to note something, because there are a lot of people who do not know the difference between just basic theory and such and scientific theory. Like, which... Theory, yeah, it's just uh, mostly speculation, but scientific theory, that is basically, uh, that more means like until this can be disproven to be, uh, this can be proven to be false or wrong or something, this is the best uh, that we know at the moment. And there's a, a lot of people who, well, intentionally act as if scientific theory has as much value as, well, speculative theory. We see it doesn't. Yeah. Like people trying to attack the, the theory of evolution and such. Yeah. Oh, I see the video. Someone reacted to some of those uh, the people trying to, to disprove it. And some of them ended up proving it instead. Yeah. This is just such a fate of like, oh, wonderful. But it's like, yeah, we talked about it before about some flat earther joined on Netflix of a show and tried to prove the earth was flat. Yeah. And on TV ended up proving it was round and he's just right to said it's broken. Yeah, with a lot of people yeah. with flat earth, I think it's more supposed, it's more like just being contrarian than anything else. Like, they want to be special on the... You know, they want to be in with the uh, special group. Uh, yeah. Without actually being special in any sort of way, other than, well, being a special kind of idiot. Yeah, like, some uh, you need a bit more for the joke of it, but there are some who actually believe in it in a very tragic manner. Or... In a tragic manner. Yes. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. for, for those theories of flat Earth to be, yeah, even somewhat possible, there's just so much established science that you need to ignore. Like, <laughs> those theories typically include freaking uh, teleportation and such. Yeah. yeah. But, but, but with the Lost Continents. I have a fair faith in Atlantis being real, then Mu or Lemuria. Lemuria, maybe something I need to investigate more about Mu. Or the reason that one is in pop culture is because someone made a book about it, and uh, but years later, in fact, then people realized, I'm like, sure, it's good fictional content, but not me. You even realized it was uh, for the, that. But. Uh, as people investigate more and more, they realize that whoever wrote Mu in the beginning was crazy and very much um, a person of the time. They were rather... Racist. Uh, bigoted in some way, I presume. Yeah, and they refused to think that South American could build uh, uh, temples. Yeah, they're the same people who think, you know, who uh, say that... Uh, Egypt could never have built the pyramids. Yeah. 
Uh, no, this was a way before that even. But it's, it's just one of those... Yeah. So when it comes to Moo, no. And no way to little more Lemur to give it any credit. Okay. I feel like that, that one may have... Lemuria might be a bit more of a nickname for a continent that some cultures have said in the folklore may exist. There we go. But again, I know way to make little about Lemuria to do any guesses if I should completely ignore it or not. Atlantis however, is probably one of the few ones that feel like, okay, that one is actually in folklore. I mean, have ancient people writing about the damn thing, so... Yeah. The, there's a credibility that it's either folklore or, or actual uh, a real thing, as has been uh, diluted over generations. Yeah. Bloody heck. For, for all we know, a map to Atlantis may have been when Alexandria, uh, the library of Alexandria burned down. Yeah. Not saying mm. it, it was there, just a scenario. I would not be surprised if that did happen. Not saying it did. Just, I would not be surprised if we did have that just typical situation. Yeah, with just for, everything managing to go wrong. Yeah, for we did lose a lot of knowledge from that. What we lost? We don't know. Sounds yeah. well. They probably also lost, lost knowledge. Yeah, lost knowledge, and they probably also lost the whole thing that said what we had. They even had there to begin with. So, yeah, literally lost knowledge. We don't know what we lost. So, yeah. But, yeah. Oh, come on. But yeah, yeah, I do enjoy at least to look up at, about Atlantis sometimes. Just again, I, I avoid the damn cold stuff or the psychics. Hmm. Back a bit off on the uh, flat Earth, uh, Earth uh, conspiracy and such, or a bit, or rather, just grand conspiracies in general. In with stuff like that, you'd need like thousands upon thousands of people to keep their mouths shut. And yeah, with that amount of people, someone is going to blab sooner or later. And of course, some will say, oh, but yeah, people have talked and such. Uh, yeah, they have never talked with actually <laughs> irrefutable evidence and such. More just, yeah, <laughs> proven bullshit. Yeah. It reminds me of his own YouTubers I uh, reacted to. Apparently some TikToker believes the sky is not real, the UFOs... Are, no, no, the clouds are UFOs. Yeah. And all that. Apparently... They try to think that the Earth is about to reborn, that it's God... ...way with the clouds to show that the Earth is soon being reborn and whatnot, just... Yeah, with those uh, people I counted more to just... Active delusions or such. Yeah. And when I saw that, I just went, Really? A beautiful night sky? Or, you know, like when uh, sometimes uh, you have almost a red or pink uh, cloud and all that in the evening? Hmm. Or all that? They, they, they have seen it, they have they seen the photos, they didn't take a picture of it, and they refuse to believe it's real. Yeah, that, that's just people who are either just uh, completely deluded, or they just want to be quote-unquote special to such a point that they actively delude themselves. <clears throat> yeah, nice. this is concerning. A uh, decorative label pin taken from Freed Clone's cold corpse. Sentimental memento for sure. Okay. Wait. <coughs> Freed Clone. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, right. Uh, clone from the, those clones. All right. Yeah. Freed is, <laughs> Freed is pretty easy to kill, but apparently he keeps a fuck ton, or at least kept a fuck ton of clones around in yeah, quantum I storage. Probably since I also we have his toy, where yeah. there's no clones left. Here's no. the thing. 
when I really thought, oh, so all these soldiers are closed, I really, wait, no. We learned what, we learned what these clones they, they talked about last time. Yeah. So I split, for a split moment I had forgotten about uh, what Shura had done with which three clones. I guess you could say I misread it for a moment, I thought, clones owned by Klee, no. The literal clones of Creed, not that he owns it. Oh. Uh, now we ended a uh, damn uh, confusing topic there. Uh. But yeah, uh, I, I think we all seen enough uh, science fiction about uh, clones and ownership and all of this. Uh, it's a yeah. mosh pit. Another place. <laughs> A marsh pit, I would not say, but more like yeah. a swamp or something. Yeah, maybe a swamp pit. It, I, I would say they still have rights, but they are alive. Yeah, and self-thinking, typically. Yeah, and they didn't choose to be created. Like everyone else. And now... Uh, no else people don't really them. choose to be born, but... Yeah. So the idea of people in the... the uh, that people wanting to do use clones for slave labor? No thank you. I'm completely against that. Let's see. Lot of, as, lot of, probably makes me... Remind me that I have as, at times mixed feelings about Clone Wars, like... The clone troopers are bloody awesome. Yeah. But they Whether are you basically think about slaves. It, yeah, they are that as well. Like, they do get rights. Like, uh, we, oh, bloody. What, what, what was the blue lady's name again? The one with the golden tattoos. What was her name again? I uh, forget her name, but yeah, she was a senator. And to be honest, we don't, we don't even really know if any of that actually went on uh, went on to pass through the Senate and such. Or, yeah, it could have been passed by the Senate, but behind the scenes they just fucked over the clones anyways. Oh, here's me. A lot of things did go through, thanks to her and others. However, is after the Clone Wars uh, certain someone still listened to them for a while? Yeah. Until the Santa's new like had uh, hours and all that, and it, you know how Palpatine is. Yep. He been manipulated so something will lose support. The, the clones did get the uh, lifted regulations. They're more allowed to visit Barsa and all that, and they did get more rights. But then, like, but once the clone was over. Yeah, she was she was there trying to make sure the clones uh, still have rights and all that. Yeah. Or people start to see them as useless or a burden and all, all that. It's yeah. Hmm. Uh... And with how little clones are typically seen after the Clone Wars series and such, I would not be surprised at all if at one point or another they were just. Uh, shipped off to euthanasia camps or something. Uh, no. For that, that, there is another reason we have kind of an answer sense. But first, yeah, many did die in the war. And such. Yeah, they, uh, they, 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 they age twice as fast as a regular human. So, they, they're basically adults at age of 10. Yep. So, yeah. Like, sure, some of them did get kids and all that, but not all of them, but many did die. And then also was the problem of, uh, for each generation of clones, the, if, the effectiveness of them degraded. That's so how they this could way. Been... So, yeah, many clones could just. Uh, Died off of aging and other clone related issues. It's still in a way very tragic. Yep. So, yeah, in a way, clone, the clone troopers were awesome, but they also. It's still quite sad about them. Yeah, that, that, that thing again. 
But then again, let's be honest. Everyone is a tool in Palpatine's uh, hands. Or eyes. Hands, eyes. You name it. Maybe. Let's actually bring a shotgun to a sniper, right? There we go. Yeah, we are getting... Yeah, things are getting tougher now with bigger spaces between the hammocks and tougher enemies. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. There, there, and there. We really need to upgrade the shop to find a use for all of these. They're just a face full of buckshot. There. Okay. Ew. Now. Oh, wait. Okay, that's new. Hmm. So those are basically like a copy of uh, Shura. Oh, now I see. Ah, uh, hmm? I thought the giant bugs were wearing fur hats. Nope, that's the <laughs> that's the kids on their back. Well, that and their own hair as well. Somehow. Yeah, the tiny ones on their back, along with the fur, makes it look like a hat. I was like, was wondering, why are the bugs wearing hats? Sure, I guess it's cold, but... Hello? Okay. Hmm. Okay, if these people are Atlanteans, I feel like this might Atlanteans I have a little bit more belief in. Uh, for people wondering, but they have stone robots. And the Greeks had automatons. They they did try to make robots. Though they were not as advanced as the ones we have today, but they did make one that was very much a clockwork or player. I think they still have the remains of that one that was made of bronze and could play harp. Okay, uh, each yeah, of these again. areas give off a sound with a symbol. Hmm. Oh, I, I was wondering if there was a glitch or something here. The uh, question is how do we get that, that way? But yeah, hmm. I would definitely recommend people to look up about the Greek automatons for Again, it's, uh, it's really like the earliest attempt to make a robot. But they will be extremely limited in what they can do. Like, the one that does the horror probably could only play one melody. Okay, we can reset that. Okay, so we need to find a specific tone. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's that one. Let me... Paper... Pen. So, plus two. Rectangle. Square with filling. Among us. And a U. Oh, that's why you said among us. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. I, I don't believe Atlantis is very... I could see Atlantis have a bit more advanced version of automatons. Just, I, mean, I, give it, I doubt they will shoot beams of lasers. But again, Atlantis is still a enjoyable uh, fictional topic otherwise in uh, games as such. Yeah. Why are you not aiming for the middle one? There we go! Mm, different sound. 
Target the correct one. Hmm, I think I remember something about OT, everything about automatons. You know, they, I think they, there was writing of a few guard automatons guarding a temple, but they may have they may have thrown fragments of some statues in the temple. They just so dam badly damaged that they cannot confirm if they were part of a mechanical statue or just a regular statue. Seeing a um, symbol here. Uh, with with automatons, they're more like uh, machines than anything, uh, than actual robots or such. Yeah. Like they still need I... to be hand operated or such, or with water or whatever. Yeah. When is that supposed to be? Like, I think the few we have found in good condition are still missing parts, so we are still not sure what is steam powered, whether spring powered. Or just hand cranked. But it was still impressive technology for that time. Yeah. Now, this is you? I beg your pardon? Oh, damn it. The you on the left side. Uh, oh, I thought you met me. No. I was pondering what the heck are you talking about? What is he comparing me to now? There. Okay, we should probably aim... Really? What hit me there? We should aim for the next hammock in that area, because I presume there's going to be one closer here. There. There, 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 there. I am getting a bit tired of climbing up all the way. Yeah. Hmm. I can see see that, and I can agree. If I would be very frustrated. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking of when we get to Castlevania Order of Ecclesia, which I do want to stream in the next in the next set schedule along with uh, Steam Wolf Dig and such, as well as Rayman and Mark of the Ninja. Uh, I do want to, for the last part, use a map of the area, because, well, it's a big-ass area. Wait, Mark of the Ninja is Castlevania-like? Where did you get that from? Uh, you just mentioned uh, Mark of the Ninja. Uh, I'll... As in that we uh, that's in the same stream schedule that we've got planned. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, Order of Ecclesia's last area is pretty big, so I will be using uh, just at least a general map of the area, so that we can get from safe point to safe point instead of having to reach thread ground constantly. Yeah, and oh. Uh... So I just remember, you remember when we streamed and uh, even added to YouTube uh, a Bloodstained? Yeah. Apparently it recently got its last update. It, it got a new DLC, yeah? Yeah, which will be lost DLC and lost update. I've got to say that I'm a bit confused by it because it's the last DLC is called Classic 2, but... To my knowledge, there wasn't even a classic one. And I, I didn't see one amongst the DLC, though I could have just overlooked it. Yeah, and it seemed... Uh, I could just misunderstand the thumbnail. They also got a new character uh, playthrough. Yeah. Okay, we can take a look at that at some point. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, I will say this. I think, boy, I think you said it back then that uh, you were glad to return to it if there was more new story to it. 
Hmm. But if, but yeah, if no new story, then I don't see a point in it. Is that a chest with two arms? Uh, where? There you were, you were, you were, but you listen to the sound, for that looks like a torso. Over there. Yep, yep. Wrong button. That's the one on that one, I think. So that's a four. Okay, there is feeling... more this way. I feel there used to be ropes in that room. Yeah, to pull them down. Yeah, and um, ropes will, uh, um, uh, yeah, disappear with the age. Or oh, what's the word? Disint disintegrate? Yeah, degen de deteriorate. Deteriorate. There we go. Yes, deteriorate. I was thinking where right, disintegrate is a maybe a bit uh, wrong here. Okay, that one's pretty high. Okay. Yeah, that, that that looks like a torso. Let's see then. I think it's one with this one. No, not that one. Not that one either. Uh, let's see, two, one, one, unknown, four, I think it is. So pull this one another time. And sure, uh, target the correct one. nice if we could more accurately aim this thing here. And now that one's wrong as well. Okay. All back to normal. Okay. Come on! Okay. I, it, we, oop. She is aiming them at specific ones. But it would be nice if we had a, something to highlight that as well. Okay, so one of these is wrong. Nope. Okay, I gave up on this one. We'll get back to that some other time. First, we continue our search for a freaking hammock. I, I, I just hope that one is not part of the major story, just a, for a bonus item. Yeah, it's just for extras, I'm pretty sure. Oop. Maybe it holds another of those spears we found. The orbs. Good. Come on. There. Okay. Now, is there a freaking hammock nearby? Yep. Freaking. Hmm. Wait, the hammock is on, on the side? It is typically a sign pointing them out. There. 
Uh, what the? You only now notice them. I mean, no registered what the heck that they're riding jackhammers. Okay. Oh, yeah. Real I've station. been in deep talk about conversation. I haven't paid too much attention in this game beside the dialogue. You're on our encrypted comms, mystery man. Who the hell are you? And how are you talking to me? Oh, pardon the intrusion. You see, I am... What was that? I am exploding. Uh, I regret to say that there's something of a situation brewing, and I cannot go into detail at this very moment. Let us merely say that there's an exceptional opportunity for fruitful cooperation between... Close, wasn't it? I'm afraid I must run, Mr. Jefferson, but you can reach me in the eastern part of this complex at your convenience. I look forward to meeting you in person. All will be made clear. Hello? Okay, someone chucking grenades or rockets at them? What was that about? Oh, maybe I should look this guy up, see if I can't get some answers. Okay. What the heck? Okay, that's just to summon the... <clears throat> yeah. Okay, that's a side object. Okay. Um, let's continue here a bit to see if there's a freaking hammock here nearby. Uh, uh, by the way, have I been yeah. sounding good today? Yeah. Uh, no robotic issues or such. Alright, but I actually even moved my mic a bit closer to me. Because I've been leaning a bit, a bit more back uh, in the show today. Oh, there's a site. That's an extra <clears throat> place to get off there. Oh, hello. You're shielded from the front. But not too smart on turning around. Okay. Yeah, you really. You think it's a good idea to sleep with. <laughs> right there in. Okay, it's not exactly aimed. At the hammock, but still. Whoa, what a view. Yes, it is quite satisfactory. So it is, uh, sure, uh, it's, <laughs> it's downright yeah, beautiful of it. <laughs> was he mis... Was he mis... Yeah, pronouncing her name there or something? Let's see, I was mainly thinking about how many people I could snipe from this position. But yes, I guess it is beautiful. Not as beautiful as landing a perfect headshot from an extreme distance, though. That's a romantic. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. I'm guessing those things need a few moments to turn around. Also. There we go. Give me those. Hmm. And now we could just climb the elevator shaft ourselves. Let's see. We have two objectives that way. And that's a sealed entrance. Okay. Let's go this way then. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Okay, kamikaze box. There. Okay. Okay, what do we... Okay, we should have expected flying grunts sooner or later. I look like the Rocketeer. Oh, hello. Okay. There. It's not that way. Obviously. Almost too, too long on one of those. There. Okay. <gasps> And that opened that door, I'm presuming. 
I didn't actually see if it was closed or not earlier. Yep. Okay, little skater drones. Do pack a punch, it seems. Hmm. Is this leading somewhere? Ow. Okay, another chest. Okay. Hmm. It's drill station, icy hollow, 69% of course. Out here. Yeah, we'll probably have to go explore some of these areas some other time. Yeah, but I suspected there's a lot of things we need for the upgrades. Okay, moving lasers. Hmm. Okay, hey, what's with those after images that they leave? Uh, um, a <laughs> uh, big guy. Hey, got a heavy. Those platforms don't block the lasers. Actually, no, what, is that supposed to be something like a flamethrower, a laser machine gun, or a very heavy hitting laser? I'm going to presume it's a big freaking cannon. Careful. Ooh. Okay, so this is a one-way, uh, a one-way passage, or we need some sort of double jump. Creed Legion internal notes, the drill. Please, when performing upkeep on the laser drill, follow maintenance procedures to the letter. The drill must not stop drilling. Are you cold? I'm cold. Do you want to get off that damn mountain? I do. The sooner we finish the ex excavation, the sooner we can retrieve the object in the mountain. The sooner we have the object, the sooner we complete the giant robot. And then we're off to conquer the world. The longer we're here, the longer our enemies go uncrushed. Anyway, just do it right, people. Not to mention that if you don't, Icarus will probably carry you to this <laughs> sphere and then let go. To the ladder. Okay. Ow. Okay. Another flying type. Yep. Hmm. Oop. I'm kind of curious now. We have Dr. Creed. Yeah. And his insignia is a V? Yep. Maybe it's for I... Victorious Creed. Maybe. Or it stands for something. I kind of wonder what it stands for. For his daughter. Normally, when a villain names something after themselves, you will have a symbol of the, well, first uh, letter of the name, or yeah. last name. But here, yeah. Hmm, not going that way. No, I know if they have told us the full name of uh, uh, Dr. Creed, but I'm not sure uh, V was in it at all. Yeah, it's also that he, cha he changed his name at some point. Uh, that too. Creed is his taken name. Hmm. So now we have movable lasers. Bad time for a reload. Oh, hello, big guy, and oh, okay, it's a, it is a chain laser gun. But he can't aim behind himself. I'll take that. You can keep that. Yep. It looks like they always shoot in an upwards arc, or an up or downwards arc. Okay. Uh, okay, that one's disabled now. 
or not disabled, made harmless more. These flyers are going to be more difficult to deal with, especially with that burst fire. It's even more so when they're moving whilst shooting. Yep. Okay. Oh, hello. Blast beacon. One of the special blast beacons required to open the blast supply uh, capsule. Okay. Good thing that I checked. And yeah. yeah, stuff like that. Okay, they only show up after you pick them up or open the chest uh, on the map like that. Okay. Hmm. I think we've seen a few... Hmm. I still need to figure out some of what... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I, I think when an area is grayed out like this, that means that there's still something to find there, I think. Yeah, other than that, the colorations are for the different regions. It's just if they're colored in or not. Like to fly into me like freaking Superman. Okay. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, oh. Is this a vertical version of the other one? Yep. No, this one just. <laughs> this one just drops rockets on our head. Creed News issue 38. Minions, I hope you haven't forgotten that tomorrow my dearest of henchmen, Lieutenant Icarus, celebrates his 10th cybernet cybernization anniversary. Ah, uh, how time flies. I can still remember installing the mind control chip into his crack skull like it was yesterday. By the way, to address the rumor that I turned Icarus into a cyborg because he used to bully me in elementary school, that's a complete fabrication. Back to the party. Bringing a cake would be a bit cruel, being that he doesn't have a digestive system anymore. So please either eat beforehand or find some covert method of snacking during the celebration. Have a great day, Creed out. Well, I think I guess we know uh, the next boss. And apparently, it's, it does sound like this. Uh, they do a lot of cybernetics. Yeah. Also, uh, why is there just <laughs> smoking? Wait, this is... Is the Scotsman ahead of us? Like, I, no, the only reason I'm calling them the Scotsman is I think they were wearing a kilt or something. Uh, they were wearing a kilt. You know, ask me. Apparently you can buy now a kilt on Guild Wars 2. I really need to catch up with that game sometime. Like, I'm a few uh, expansions behind. I, I, I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, it says I'm so busy with streaming with you and such, and the friend group to play it with has grown so small that uh, I, that I don't feel bored with it. Okay. I still have installed the uh, login uh, now and then, but I'm not gonna bother with the expansions. Yeah. I can't tell if I got hit by their attacker or it got caught in the blast of my own grenade there. And also, I think we both can agree. MMOs take a lot of time. Yeah. Curious 2 is the one of those games that are more kind to people who are very busy. But still. Uh, still takes a lot of time. Yeah. Okay. This is a moving platforms puzzle. We need to block certain ways. Okay. And then we can block that one with this one. And to that passage. Yep. Now. Okay. We need to find a hammock. Oh. Oh. These are. These are the ones that electrify, but they're on the walls. Yep. Okay, let's go see if we can find a hammock. Also, 
robots in the background. Robot parts. Yep. And they only fire upwards. Hmm. I gotta guess it might be something to do with the recoil. Could be, yeah. I don't really know many guns that have a downwards recoil. If any. Might be due to the weight, but still, they are using the strongest person to wield them. So imagine how the issue if someone was not having the required strength to carry it, try to fire with those. Yeah. Also, is that a jet in the background, or is that just another uh, lookout uh, point or something? No, it is an aircraft. What kind of aircraft? I cannot say. But it's definitely an aircraft of some kind. Okay. Probably the, the way we'll get off this island then. Okay. Hmm. I guess you can say it's unknown on. aircraft for this current. And, and by unknown aircraft, I do not mean UFO. Okay, there and yeah, the the dash resets when we cling to a wall. I should remember something. Uh, you started to recently watch uh, Wolf in VR, correct? Yep. yep. Uh, have you seen his latest uh, videos? Uh, let's see. I've seen the vampire one. Uh, there was also a new one recently that I gave up on. I think uh, the timer-related one was such. Uh, timer? Oh, if it was a time travel one, then I definitely did not watch that one due to it being time-related. I have a related one about uh, Taskmaster. Okay, that. I, I know of Taskmaster. I've seen a bit of one episode or such, but yeah, I... I don't see the appeal in it at all. You cannot see the appeal. Like, you give them a task and they try to figure out the best way possible, and sometimes they, they, they don't realize there's an easy way to accomplish the task. It's kind of like you must, you must to enjoy laughing at them succeeding or miserably failing. Nope. And, uh, busy. Yeah, uh, uh, they made a VR game there, and uh, you can see the appeal of it. And of course, in one of them, they actually stop talking about uh, Super Mario and all that. Yeah, they. But not in a condescending way, at least. It's a little bit more respectful. Okay, these always seem to go first for a charge and then for a slam. Yep. Jump into that one. Hmm. Oh, hello. Can we hit those from above, I wonder? Uh, when I watched uh, Taskmaster, I feel like uh, the one that did make win me only best was watching it on YouTube. For then I watched the whole, well, the best bits. And the answer is no, we can't hit it from above. No, oh, there, there. Uh, hello. Ah, the paperwork on this. Truly unfortunate. Hey, Spiffy. You the guy that contacted me? Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Jefferson. Truly a pleasure. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Mr. Good, Junior Sales Representative, War Incorporated, 4th Division. Uh, okay. okay. So, Tony uh, Stark, but not. War Incorporated? What, the arms manufacturer? You're familiar. Then you may know our slogan, expertly produced weapons for true weapon experts. Quality and performance at an affordable price. Huh, didn't think you guys made sales calls like this. <sighs> well, not as a rule. 
I'm here on Dr. Creed's invitation. You know how it is, new client first impressions. However, it seems the good doctor wished to skip the negotiations and proceed directly to acquisitions. He hasn't tried to steal his stuff. So our discussion took a somewhat hostile turn. So you, the sales rep, took out all these henchmen. Oh my, no, not my field. I am, in fact, a pacifist. <laughs> really? Yeah. Pacifism did this? Trade secrets, Mr. Jefferson. But if you're interested in War Inc.'s life-saving solutions, perhaps we could set up a time for you to explore our product line. Hmm. <sighs> Well, Blast doesn't do things the way Creed does. If you're really the civilian you claim to be, we can offer you safety at our base at Seaside Village. Oh, how wonderful. I can rest up and, well, maybe we can turn this disappointment into a brand new business opportunity, hmm? I guess uh, I got an answer to when we'd get a new weapon, because I... <laughs> 100% sure that we can buy them off this guy. You see, Mr. Jefferson, I have a small arsenal of War Inc.'s best handcrafted tools of total annihilation just waiting for the right transaction. All that. Yeah? What are we talking here? Come find me in that picturesque village of yours, and I'm sure we can come to an agreement. Just be sure to bring your wallet. Please, a small token of my appreciation. This key should grant you access to one of Dr. Creed's vaults and the valuables inside. Take care now, Mr. Jefferson. Yep. Legion Vault Key, a special key card capable of opening one of Freeze Legion Vaults, expires after a single use. Okay, and he, he's just going to strut off. Wait, uh, what's really on the hand? What, uh, some sort of, is that a glove or? Hmm. Yeah, he looks really red, so he has to be a glove. And more brown to me. Hmm. Yeah, it must be a thing of the brown. Let's see. Is this what I think it is? Do you mean that giant battle robot armed with a wide array of state of the art weapons of mass destruction? I bet the armors would love to see what makes this new big guy thick. Right. I mean, come on, you act like you see this kind of stuff every day. Didn't Creed explain his evil plan to you? Oh, well, yeah, but I thought he was just boasting. Or delusional. Or both. Don't worry, the bot is not vi finished yet. Uh, Creed very foolishly informed me he's missing a vital top secret component for the bot. And, I ha and if I have that if I and if I have anything to do about it, that component will stay missing. Okay, so that's probably what they're digging for. I guess uh, it's the same thing that powered the ancient okay. sentinels. Probably. Hmm. Okay, now where did Mr. Mo Warmonger park? Okay, so this how many... that he calls himself pacifism. But again, it, it probably is the part of the joke. Yeah, <laughs> it's totally the joke. Uh, where did he set up? Hmm. Maybe he hasn't arrived yet? Hmm. Or we need to talk to someone about it? No, uh, I, I think he's in the... He's probably in the building. It's, anything new from you? Look alive, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, they, look, they do look alive, I think. There he is. Mr. Jefferson, Mr. Jefferson, a true pleasure to see you once more. Howdy, Mr. Goods. Ever since we first met, I've had dreams of ballistic bliss dancing around my noggin. You sure that isn't from that one time you got shot? Let's make those dreams a reality, Mr. Jefferson. What I have here is the best of War Inc.'s product line for your perusal and purchase. Only a true professional such as yourself will, of course, comprehend their quality and value. As you certainly know, War Inc. is a trend-setting pioneer in the industry of population Apologies, personal protection. 
Now, as a new customer, you'll need to pay a licensing fee to have you already to gain access to our inventory, unless you're ready to make a bulk purchase, of course. Wait, are you saying I have to pay you to get the privilege of paying you even more? Like I said, Mr. Jefferson, these are but trivial hoops you must jump to unlock the true quality. True quality is priceless. Uh, that's one of the things I hate. Yeah. And it's typically the sign of a scam as well. So, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, my favorite future customer. Just a little bit of help and I'll be uh, I'll finally be able to set up, uh, yeah, supply you with the best weapons Warring has to offer. Okay, so we need another kit for this. Okay, that that is a bit bullshit that we don't have access to at least a limited, uh, <clears throat> limited amount of guns. But, yes, oh, here, well. here, here, people. This is why I started to say the bullshit word. Because someone next to me say it's so much. Let's see. This area isn't isn't filled in yet, so I get the feeling that there is... Actually, we know that's there, so that's why it's likely not filled in. Oh, dear. Hmm. Actually, do you, have, do you have nothing to say in your defense? <laughs> uh, I, guess you, I guess you... I guess you take that as uh, so you, oh. I'm derping out on English. Confess. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, when we way, find I'm... the next kit, we'll use it to unlock uh, the weapon store then. Oh dear. But I would not be surprised if we have been influencing each other one way or another. Yeah. Actually, uh, since we have started more and more oftenly talk in sync in some way or another form. Not much of late, actually. Yep. There. Uh, oh, it's one of those. I thought someone talked in your background. No. Ah, thought so. Okay. Hmm. There's the button to move that one. <laughs> Big and obvious. Also protected with another laser out. Okay, at least it moved. This is going to move the elevator? Yes, it is. Okay. And dead. Let's see. Oh, hello there. That's just what we need. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's actually go right back to the village then. Uh, or, uh, yeah, we, we can just climb up the shafts. Something, something phrasing. Wait, what? <laughs> climb the shafts. I'll just leave that one hanging then. Okay. Yep. Still a good amount of areas to go in. Also, I just noticed something with Jeff when he jumped on. His uh, other arm also you know, appeared uh, quite a bit browner, but so it could just be because of shadowing that uh, Good's arm also looked a lot darker, or like he was wearing a glove. Maybe? There. No, actually, no, look! It, it might actually be a glove! Hmm. Oh, hello, Razor. Made by War Inc., this burst fire rifle if the, is the epitome of cutting edge, fast, deadly, and incredibly stylish. Second Horseman, War Inc. Classic, a ferocious double barrel shotgun with piercing ability. And then we have oh, another one of these. And a battle buddy, uh, <clears throat> a, a, a battle buddy as one of these. Uh, I forget specifically what they were called, but they're, they're basically perks. A drone fights alongside you. Ammo pickups increase drone rate of fire by 15% for 15 seconds. Okay. Hmm. 
Let's get this one first. Let's see how that works. And let's get another one of these. If we find one of these vaults, it'll probably pay itself back. Hopefully. Okay. Now then. What? It's Okay, that's pretty fast. It of course runs out faster as well. But that is that could be pretty good, I'd say. Hmm. It does seem to have less range, maybe. We'll see how this goes. Well it seems to become meant to be fighting in burst like it. Like if you're in a yeah, cover. It, it, it's literally a burst fire weapon, so yeah, of course it is supposed to fire in burst. Yeah, like you, you take cover, you pick out, fire, they take cover again. Right. Let's see, we'll need to head that way. So all the way down. Okay. Jump down here. Yep. There we go. Okay, I think it is dealing more damage per shot as well. Hmm. No going through there. This way is also blocked. Okay. Do we need to go around then? It does seem that the bug only takes 100 coins every time. I just realized something. Whenever the uh, big one fires, the eyes turn black. Okay. Kind of like a. Kind of like a, as if as if it closes itself into itself. And it it looks more like they narrow. Yeah. It is. Okay, probably to uh, avoid like too much light or something coming in from the the, the from the uh, gun's muzzle flash or well it's lasers it's all flash. It's probably explain what goes down or up for. Yeah, they're not seeing what the where the hell they're firing. I was hoping. <laughs> that could also be a part of it, yeah. Definitely more damage per second, I think. Hmm. Or it could also be they firing that ma matter for the api uh, expect you to be jumping around. Maybe. see what's this if anything this is doing um yeah i'm confused by this for the only times we've seen some of these buttons we sometimes oh. in cable okay i see that one where that one's cable is and that's in a different area so yeah these are all known This way, we need to go down. Okay. What are we going to find over this way then? Yep, the drill again. Or this time it's in the background. Oop. There we go. Okay, that moves that one. 
Yeah, we, it, I can see it even shows by the cables there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. They alternate between trying to slam and dive, I'm thinking. Oops. Go. Hmm. I wonder how much damage that double barrel shotgun will do. Probably more, since well, that's kind of a, a shotgun trope. That double barrels do more damage than single shots. There's a breakable floor. Uh. Uh. Okay, did the, did the the top one bomb its friend there, or did I just kill it at an opportune moment? I'm sure. Sleeping a little bit uh, ugh, of the sneezing. It's wanted, Mr. Galahad. Name Gavin Henry Gale. MI6 spy. Gentleman poker aficionado, partially enhanced by Creed Tech cybernetics. Wanted for escaping and evading Creed forces, being too handsome. Extremely dangerous, apprehend alive, return for cybernetization. Wait, Wait, is this the guy? Is that the Scotsman? I think it is. It's Mr. Galahad. Right, is this? Yep, this is uh, back here now. Wait. And cyber... They... They tried Has to turn him into a cyborg uh, minion of his. Oh, they tried to, and that might be why he was screaming so much. Or he might have just been screaming because he's Scottish. I'm gonna give the Sir Galahad, Mr. Galahad, I mean, the benefit of the doubt. Okay, let's reset our stuff. I'm pretty sure we have some explanation when we find them. Probably. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> now I'm trying to just imagine the most Scottish spy ever. Um... Trying to go undercover with their with just a, <laughs> a meters thick Scottish accent. Him? Really? Yes, I know. Certain is someone who did James Bond. But I'm talking more like more stereotypical Scottish. Oh, dear. For a moment, I, I was worried that you did not know that Sean Connery played James Bond. Yeah, I, I'm talking more like uh, if Johnny English were Scottish. Just full parody, and that was a lucky dodge. Actually, it reminds me, since we're gonna re record and restream uh, Lord of the Rings tomorrow, I actually talked uh, about this to Mac and uh, Glacier Boy. Mm -hmm. Glacier Boy easily suggested for us to do voiceover, and I told her right away, no. <laughs> voiceover as well. Uh, oh, on the, uh, yeah, on the recording, yeah. We've done that before, and it was a pain in the ass then, and it would be a pain in the ass now as well. Yeah, and I, and I, I, I didn't get to, to say this yesterday, of it was a series. Here's Matt you're in with a joke that they wanted to voice me. <laughs> and Mac suggestion was some celebrity I did not know, but I asked, and they basically told me, uh, is a celebrity in the UK that's known for sounding extremely stereotypical posh British. Hmm. And they wanted to uh, channel that voice acting me. There we go. I, I, I wasn't sure uh, how I would feel uh, about being voice acted by uh, such an extreme level of poshness. Okay. 
we know what's at the top here. We actually, I should have realized this actually really scares me for I don't know Matt for a while. And extreme poshness oh, is definitely never been one I imagine them do. It somehow scares me. Okay. Ooh, almost got caught on the saw blades there. But, <clears throat> yeah, that door needed to be opened in a similar way to do the doors with the uh, Shura's laser. And is this a combat room? Yes, it is. Uh, oh, combat. If I, if I said combat. Yeah. And also, did you also for a first glance mistake them for flying boom boxes? Uh, they look... <laughs> <laughs> they looked apart, but Ooh, quickly. Okay, that they don't look like war versions of those more uh, modern boom boxes. You know, they're a bit more roundish. Yeah. So in this case, yeah. they literally become a boom box and drop the boom. Okay. Oh, Ooh. Nice attention to detail. Uh, what? You can see how much ammo and when they are about to fire on their guns. Okay. Didn't notice that because we're a bit busy dodging shots. Is this hey, the last I, I, one? I, no. Nope. First time I noticed they had bars on them, I thought, alright, interesting. But then I. Now I saw that they, they went down for each shot and they turned blue, recharged, and fired again. Okay, uh, really. Like, it's a nice attention to detail. How are us proven here? When you're playing, try not to get shot. You're not gonna notice it. Yeah. Okay, luckily there is a hammock up, uh, up ahead. Okay. I'm going to grab that quickly. You know what? There we go. Now oh, there's another of these laser chargers here. Okay, just need to point the laser at it long enough. Well, I just realized. Is the Scotsman in Kilt supposed to be a exaggerated uh, you reference of uh, James Bond? Maybe. You're a bit more extra in the mindset, Scottish. Sure, eyes ahead. That's the damn laser drill we've been dodging all the way up here. Thing sure looks mighty combustible. Hey, Jefferson, perhaps we don't overload the giant laser on account of the guaranteed odds will be vaporized. Good thinking, Red. I ain't going out that. I, I ain't going out like that. Although it's a real pity. I bet this base would light up like the 4th of July. Maybe I can just overload it a little. No. Jefferson. Fine. Not big on fun, are you sure? <laughs> I wonder if we can get new lines from that when we get the other two. Oh dear. No, that's it. I would eager to see the Scotsman, but also worried. <laughs> like, I like Scotch accents and all that, but I'm worried they may end up going a bit too hard on the stereotype and all that. We'll have to see. It's no getting past that way. Drink. And for people wondering, yes, I do like bagpipes. Hmm. I'm not gonna play them since bloody heck. I think it, I think practicing a bagpipe in an apartment will be quick become the most hated one in the apartment. Yeah. Hmm. How are we supposed to push that button? Hmm. Easy to just look up. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, wait. Odds. Wait, wait, wait. A cable. Oh, yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, there's a cable going down there to the other side. Yeah, I, I see that there's a cable going from the. From that one over there, but there, we'd still need to we need to get past the laser of this one, which I'm presuming is being oh I see it's on the other side of the wall there where the the horizontal laser is burning. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, okay, no destroying that. And did I? Okay, so we I think we can take damage from that. Uh, Yep. For you did say ow. Hmm. Wait, I think you can go down. Yeah. Yep. Okay, we can go up. We should also look there. There's likely something hidden here. A heart. A hmm. heart upgrade? Yeah. We already. Yeah, we already found four, so this will be the first one of a new set. Okay. We need to time this. Hmm. Oop. Then we jump up here. There we go. And this lever will turn all of this off, I think. Yep. Okay. That just required a bit of patience and timing. Okay. Okay, move you enough until you start charging that thing. Okay, that opened the door here. Disable that thing. Okay. Nope. Wait, I think you, you were supposed to pull it down there like that. For some reason? Now it needs to be Wait. aimed somewhere where it's... Oh, now I see there. it. Now I see. Okay, but what did that second one power? Hmm. Oh, oh wait, that now that gate is open. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, there's something below there. Okay, I thought. There we go. <laughs> Just short on hitting that thing. Okay. There. there go. Oh, okay. that work for this extra cash. Yep. But we do or, need that well, for new guns and such. Yeah, and also it did open up off over here. Let's see, that moves that. to find something to block those or can we go underneath yeah, we can go underneath it but we'll have to dodge a different kind of lasers okay uh, what is that doing okay that's moving Okay, that moves one there. Also, oop. There. Open up. There. Okay, now we can ride these things again. Anything else? There. Okay, more cash. 
Hmm. Let's see. Uh, apparently it's fragile. Yeah. Ow. Go. Oh dear. There. Okay, that sets that one to move. Okay. We've basically gone almost full uh, full circle. Ooh. There. Hmm. Always good to check. Uh, let's see. I think I've said before that this game sort of reminds me of a new mechanic. Of a way forward style and such. And speaking of way forward, they are apparently re releasing Clock Tower. Or doing the re release of Clock Tower. Can I? Okay, I not a remaster or anything, but it is an old game. Yeah. They are adding some new stuff to it, but it is mostly the original, even with its, uh, yeah, even with its gra graphics, to my knowledge. Yeah, no, even back then it did look good. And to be honest, Clock Tower in Way Forward's art style, uh, yeah, that would not look scary. What do we have here? Passageway. We also. No, not this way. Because that goes back. Yep. Guess I should have expected it to not be that easy. Actually, whilst this one is out here, easy time to heal. It had a bigger glass than I thought. I probably should use this thing more. Good thing I healed. It's the perfect spot for that jackass to appear, huh? Oh dear. There we go. Okay. Taking a risk with this. Let's go back to the. <laughs> let's go back to a safe spot. All right. I should yeah. realize, did we just get confirmed they are off the world domination? Yep. No, the way he explained it, we thought he was gonna destroy the world just to eat a donut. Yeah, but I, I think Creed is. Uh, oh, damn it! One of these does me in. Creed is pretty cracked in the head. Well, let's be honest. The cloning may have uh, done results. Yeah. Yep. Ow. Okay. Okay, stupid laser. Stupid. That stupid laser moved back into its original position. Okay, now I'm just making stupid mistakes. Really? Okay, that was luck. <laughs> Let's 
try and have both of these blocked. go now it's less of a danger still a danger but less and of course I fall into that one okay do wish we could get an upgrade so that this would heal more but oh well well it can probably you just need to find it Okay. Oh wait, it's more of a... You get an extra bottle to heal yourself with. Yeah. And then yeah, more, like, more per bottle. Yeah, don't want to be surprised that there will be some upgrades to, to create to heal more. Maybe. We'll have to see. For now, I probably should go for the hammock above there. To refill and have a closer spawn point. Uh, let's see. There. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we still have a good amount of time. We're about to hit three hours. Oop. There we go. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Then it's down here. Yep. <laughs> I keep forgetting that those things make noise. Same! I get kicked. What the heck is that coming from? Hey. Huh? <clears throat> okay, we've got enough cash for one of the other guns. Okay. I'm not sure if this actually goes faster, but I will. There. Yes, second horseman. Okay, that drone could be pretty cool. But we'll need a bat we'll need a new battery for that as well. Uh, well anything to upgrade? Okay. Let's see, we don't have you know, we don't have any extra stuff to well get for bat get battery parts from looks like we'll have one more universal upgrades what hmm. and in the workstation we need to upgrade hmm. we don't have enough okay. points we don't have enough kits for that hmm. we could probably find more by just exploring Old areas where we haven't found everything. There's also more areas here to unlock, but maybe we'll get sent back there at some point. We'll just have to see. Yep. Yeah, for. Hmm. Like, we definitely have long enough streams to explore those, but the question is. Will we want to, or is it something we'd rather you do off stream or not? Hmm. All we know, there could be extra storage there, for we know we might accidentally miss out. Maybe. This is a challenge room. Laser heading that way. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, damn it. Wait, why did it send me back there? Okay, 
that is going to activate a laser there. Okay. Okay, it took control away there for a second to have that door open. Uh, okay, that's now just automatically moving up and down. Hmm. Kind of curious what reward will be at the end here. Oop. Juice Addict. Speeds up Cure Flask consumption. Okay, that would be really useful. Uh, okay, that's a tier 2. So, hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll be... I'll, I'm willing to turn down the... Uh, or to lose the fire rates for quicker healing. There. Is there anything else here? There's still one more thing, if my theory about the, the area being drained out, meaning that there's more to be found. Yeah, it's over there. There's a chest. There. Now, okay. I really should look more before I leave. There we go. And now the area is filled in, so we found everything there is here. All right. Guess the miss is confirmed. Yep. Okay. I need to remember to move the mic whenever I change position. Okay. Let's go back up for a heal. And then we'll continue on. Also, uh, one thing I also like with this game is that when you go through a, a gate that's a, or a, a passageway that's above you, that spits you out on a landing instead of just spitting you out into the air to, well, hopefully find the, your own footing. Yeah, that's kind of annoying when they do that. Hmm. Okay. Turn that one off, turn that one on. Yeah, cute. Actually, we probably want to explore the other older areas, likely, for... They may have other upgrades we need for that watch and all. Yeah, the PDA. For all we know, you might be handicapping yourself heavily. Could be. It is generally advised to explore a lot in yeah. you know, these, new, these kinds of games. Ow wrong way. Yeah, I've been through a lot of it uh, when we played uh, Bloodstream was a lot of exploration. Yeah. Oops. yeah with Bloodstain, the biggest fault I'd give that game is the fact that the one thing that you need for con to be able to continue is just drop from random enemies instead of giving you it to you as a uh, a reward for something. The the swimming ability. Oh, really? yeah, I had to think about that. Oh, yeah, that's about my biggest complaint with that game. Let's see. a lot faster, like half the time. There. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Okay. 
we're going to need that laser somewhere here, probably, I'm guessing. So sit still. There. There. Okay, just to be done with that. And no, we do... Oh, okay. We're going to need to redirect it up there. Okay. Okay, put that in about the correct spot. Ah, there we go. Okay, nice that for it to move over and show us. Uh, there. Just to ensure myself a passageway back. There. Okay. The rest of that can be moved another time if need be. Okay. Yep. There. Okay then. What awaits us around here? That's probably just a bit bottomless pit. Yeah, bottomless pit. Uh, a bit less bottomless move. Very far down. Yeah. More than uh, Jeff's ass can take this time. Even though he fell out of a freaking jet. What was the plan there? Not get cut. There. And yeah, there. Cut. Okay. Oh nope. dear. Hammock. There we go. Perfect timing. Okay. Okay, what do we have up here? Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a puzzle room. Where does... Okay, it needs to get up there, I'm guessing. Do these... Okay, these... Okay, these turn these in a row. Hmm. I'm guessing it needs to go up in the middle. I'm guessing this is sort of like a Rubik's Cube or something like this. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, now we... Hmm. We need the middle one here to be pointing... Or, what we need to... Bleh. The uh, quickest way that I can think of at the moment is down to this one, then off to the sides. Oh, oh no, that doesn't work because that's this one is a, just a straight through. Okay, then we need it to go down. Okay. And, hmm. Let's... Middle one needs to point down. This one needs to point right. Okay, now it. Hmm. This one it needs to still be. Hmm. Wait, I just noticed that there is one colored side on these. Does is that where it needs to be? Where it needs to come in, or is that where it comes out? No, it's it's the intake as show as this one shows. It's okay. 
So that, that complicates things a bit more. Wait, the middle one didn't turn. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so why do some of them not turn then? Hmm. Or do they oh, get hey, locked is... in when they. No, it should not. Hmm. Okay, I think we, if we turn this one twice now. I'll try not to spend too long on this. Oh, wait. That turned... That turned the starter one as well, so it's no longer firing into the intake. Hmm. Why does it... Hmm. Actually, hmm. okay. it, when this this one needs to be in the same position as this one here. Actually, no, that one needs to be one back from that. So I need to flick this one three times. No, wait. No, you had it right before, I think. Hmm. So I think... Is it, is it you want all of them to shot each other? Not all of them. It, it needs to get up to the... Uh, to the middle part. You know, to, to the roof in the middle, because there's one of those charging things. Okay. There we go. No. Sounds like it got charged. Yep, it did. Okay. So, did that open up something here? I'm not seeing a door here. Yep, there's the door. Okay, that's not a module. Ad Adrenal surge. When enemies are near, damage is increased by 30%. Okay, that would be uh -huh. very fitting with these. <laughs> Picking up. Okay, it even pushes them back a bit. Nice. Yep. Okay. Did I just catch that one with more of the slugs or. Hmm. No, that's slugs, uh, pellets, whatever. Either way, let's get that one heart back. And we can move on. Now I'm stuck with mental image of you shooting out slugs with a gun, as in the animal. Okay, what are we finding here? This is the laser cannon that blasted us out of the sky? Pathetic! Look how tiny it is. This better be able to rip through Creed's force fields, or I'm gonna look like a complete idiot. Yeah, you already do. Jefferson, Jefferson. this seems too easy. Yeah? Well, I wouldn't waste the manpower protecting this overpowered popcorn maker, either. Uh, um... Uh, Icarus is going to show up any second now. Oh, oh hello. Fashion sense is futile. Come and get it, flyboy. <laughs> really? 
Let's be honest here. Am yeah, I the one who thought they looked like a Digimon? <laughs> okay, they do look somewhat like that. Ow. Yeah, have someone show me that picture without tone causes you said Mecha Garudamon. I would probably have believed them. Ow. So, what are you up to? Okay. Rocket Barrage is what you're up to. Yep, ow. And that. Hmm, hold on a sec. Now, this won't be... Uh, this won't be the actual sun, but it'll make a good uh, substitute. Uh, yep, it's track. Oh, no, it's not tracking him. There we go. I thought he was going to stop on that platform. Just drink through the invin invulnerability. Yeah. Ow. Okay, so if we miss this shot, he still comes forwards. Okay, he's a bit like a mixture of the grenadiers the, and the two flying enemies. Speeding up. Here we go again. Ooh, that... Oh. Okay, I, I thought it was going to continue. Now he's throwing out destructo discs. Yeah. Okay, that was <laughs> that was entirely my own fault with that one. Okay. Oh dear. Mm. Right, just gonna grab something. So okay. you know what? Let's try this. Captain! Don't die! <laughs> no promises. Ow. Yeah, it does a decent bit of damage. The grenades probably would deal more. Oop, here we go again. Yep. Ow. Jumping too early with those. Okay. Ow. Okay, that was a trade. Ring. Not touching that, as long as the bomb's there. Break. Okay. The destructor disc again. Okay. The, yeah, the bombs, the missiles, rockets, whatever, 
They seem to be completely random as to where they end up. Time's the charm. And I'm back. I didn't see anything. I just felt like if I say I'm back, it will probably jinx it. <laughs> okay. Well, the battle didn't help. Yeah, those rockets over here seem to be coming you know, down completely random. Okay. Yeah, maybe a double barrel shotgun against. A flying cyborg is not the best idea. Okay, background. Yeah, it, it seems to be com ew, completely random where those come down, the charts. Seems to always come into a V pattern, though. Yeah, he's always going for the middle there. There we go. Okay. That, we barely dodged that. Thanks. <laughs> Just as he goes into the background. That. Come on. Just as... Okay, that was just poor... That was just bad luck. Okay, got confused there which weapon I was using. Okay. Okay. There we go. Come on. Last hit. And of course. Okay, double destructo. And I died because I accidentally dodged into the wall. Okay. Fourth time. Oh, so you see, it. Uh, uh, okay. I went to grab some more food, which soon turned to me to eat anyway. And I thought, man, as well eat this to see if it'd be picked up by the mic. And it is not. And I'm eating breakfast crackers. Okay. So it's not picked up by mic, this is good. However, due to have my headphones on, I can hear my own shooting even louder. It looks like the grenades and the laser do about the same amount of damage. Oops, thank you. Mm. Do a 
just going to do that. There we go. It's a good thing that I swapped out uh, the jump button, huh? Because if I had to constantly be pressing A to jump around here, I would never get a freaking shot in. Yeah. It. There we go. Goes, shove a grenade up his ass. Yep, and then miss both of those. Heal. Uh, well, apparently someone is an early bird today. No. Okay, Distracto. I just got a good morning from uh, Durban Lord. Okay. And for people wondering, they on the other side of the planet, so it's morning for them at the moment. And it's unusually early for them uh, to, uh, to be on now. Well, the early. Oh, wait. Did he just. He disabled them. Okay. Good. Uh. Oh, no, wait. I misread that. I thought with the lasers gone, the turret was the inactive, but no, it was not. So that was just a stupid bit of damage. Okay, still a third of his health, two hits on my... Yeah, I still feel like it probably is still a good idea to probably do it in the next stream or something for us to... Not exploring the old areas for any extra bit of upgrades. Yeah. Yep. Watch out for the danger, danger frisbees. Yeah. No, I was saying, we're probably not going to dedicate an entire episode just only to look for upgrades. We're probably going nope. oh, to try to mix on. it up between them. Yep. And he's back in there already. Okay, so he's just going to keep doing that until we shoot him down. Oh, oh come on, the other one. Come on! What? Okay. Yeah. I feel like we need an extra healing upgrade of some kind. What hmm. are we maybe missing some skills here? That was just stupid luck with that one missile catching me in midair there. Okay. Also, I need to not get the timing on those wrong. Already half the health bar gone. Yep. Who barely dodged that? Okay. Dodge this, Birdman. If I'd not taken a cheap hit by forgetting that he lands on those two platforms, I I would have gotten it then. Yeah, 
Come on. Yeah. Not hopeful on this attempt, but come on. Okay, let's see if we can take him out from half with only two hits. Yeah, yeah if we fail this one, I say maybe we should investigate the other areas of some extra upgrades that may give a bit more of an edge. So far, so, so far, so not. Mm. Yep, it's already charged. But speaking of charge. Okay, this is doable. Okay, he's back to doing this. Ooh. There we go. And there goes the cannon. That guy was a terrible wingman. <laughs> Get it? Jefferson. Jefferson. Our boy just flew too close to the sun. By which I mean, shut up. Jeff, Jeff. Whoa, easy there. We're on a first name basis now, Red. Not the point. Oh, oh, Red, enough yakking. She's gonna blow. You're the one who won't shut up. Not this time. <laughs> I think my aim's improving. Yeah, I was not Maybe your aim. minioning just isn't for you, pal. I don't think you're cut out for it. <laughs> Ouch! What the? A Creed Tech battery? All out of juice. Should probably tell O'Hara about this. Jefferson, come in. Are you alive? Speak up, the devil. Never better, and on top of the world, no less. We heard an explosion. Report. Yeah, had to deal with some flying cyborg dudes in the laser cannon. <laughs> World's a change in O'Hara. Not that they'll get to see it. Wait, that explosion, that was the laser? It's destroyed? Are you nuts? What happened to using it to destroy the force field protecting the fortress? Ah, uh, yeah. Out of charge battery. Creed Tech special battery currently out of charge. Okay. Hmm. Uh, act two. Yeah, we've been in that since we got into the facility up hereabouts. All right. Hmm. I had forgotten about that. Okay, this will connect back to there. Then we can go up towards the fast travel. Okay. There's something here. There likely is something here, seeing as it's a bit hidden. Ooh. Another blast tech. Uh, blast, blast beacon. Okay. Hmm. Where is that supply thing then? Oh, come on! 
Good thing that I went for the extended invulnerability, huh? Yep. I do feel like we definitely should start uh, looking for the other uh, upgrades and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, hello. I feel like we may have accidentally skipped out on many. Possibly. Hmm. Next week we can start with looking around the old areas then. Yeah. Yeah. If we start now, since we only have like uh, 25 minutes remaining. True, but first let's go back to the base. Yeah, that, that probably definitely takes more priority. Do we be find someone the way? Hmm. Yep. Uh, right. open. Yep. Yep. Actually. There. Not the brightest move to remove your shield when someone's holding a shotgun in your face, but oh well. It means I've never been uh, specifically called too intelligent. Ow. There. Of course, again with the freaking icicles. It, not getting me with that. Though it, it, it wouldn't have lasted through the uh, invincibility, anyways. Hmm? Was that a bark? It sounded more like something rubbing or something. There wasn't any dogs on my end barking. Yeah, it's, it's the ice. Oh! I, I haven't heard that ice sound effect in ages! I feel like it's one of those that usually skip out nowadays. Probably because okay. that's not how ice sound when you rub against it. Yeah, it, it sounds more like glass being cleaned. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um. There. There. Okay. Not falling for that again. Okay. okay. I'm guessing they, they I'm guessing they ask you to get back to the base every so often to yeah, to also give you a clear opportunity to get some upgrades done and such. There we go. Yep. <clears throat> Most likely. But also to probably also be near the older, older areas. Hey, Armis, what uh what are you welding? Something Captain O'Hara asked me to put together. A little more mad science than I'd usually prefer, but... What is it? It's a limited-range aerial phase shift separator. Not that that means anything to you. A laser. Damn right! <laughs> it counteracts the effects of the phase shift duplicator. If it works. Oh, something else. <laughs> da there we go. Finally. What do you know? It does! The range is limited to this village, though, so you'll still phase shift when out in the field. A more permanent solution's gotta wait until Dr. Creed's dealt with. Aren't you a regular wizard, Dayarmus? Keep it up and I'll get you a robe with stars on it. Maybe a little wand. Thank Captain O'Hara. If it was up to me, I could be convinced to find a way of locking you into some quantum plane forever. Give us all a break! <laughs> You can't blame him. See you later. Okay, so this is where we'll be able to chat with our yeah. companions. Ha ha! That guy's real funny. I don't know. It's not the worst idea I've heard. <laughs> hmm. 
Hell yeah, Red. This feels good to be in her own skin again, eh? You can't imagine. Look, I know my last plan didn't go, you know, as planned. Sorry about that. I apologize. We destroyed Kreese and the aircraft cannon and removed one of his key lieutenants. I'm satisfied. At least she's honest with that. Pros and cons to, well, <laughs> failure. Right? Right? Then what do you think about the new plan? What new plan? Does it result in the devastating loss of Creed forces by our hand? Yes, oh yes. Then it is a good plan. That's what I'm talking about, Shura. You're A-OK. -okay. Of course I am. <laughs> Poof's back in. You need to go anything? Big Dummy, do you venture in, uh, to the icy hollows? Roger, and don't call me Big. It is a sacred place. Every year the bravest of us make a pilgr pilgrimage into the cold dark depths. It was I who last made this trek. They don't call me Urku the, the Brave for nothing. It wasn't it the wise before? Only the brave can bear the holy task of retrieving the sacred ocarina from its ancient vaults. Ocarina? But I, but I could not get it. I did not uh, become... Uh, <laughs> I did not become Urku the Brave until a few months ago. Ocarina, eh? Sounds familiar. So what happened? Did your bush freeze? I surveyed the icy labyrinth where the ocarina is stored and identified scores of deadly traps protecting the vault. Someone less sharp than I would never spot such traps. That is why, <laughs> that is why they call me Uku the, the Sharp. I think he's more like Uku the Liar. Being aware of the danger, I deduced that retrieving the ocarina was far too uh, dangerous. Big Dummy, you may not be sharp, but brave. Huh? Huh? Bravery sometimes is a very important part of being a dummy. Perhaps it is you that can retrieve the sacred ocarina from the icy hollows. And if so, a reward I will give. Uh, uh, not sure why he does that every now and then. They don't call me Urku the Generous for nothing, you know. Um. Urku the Bullshitter. Okay. I like that she waves to show that she's got something to say. <clears throat> Next time I tell you we need a better plan than just blow it up, you're going to nod and say yes, ma'am. Got it? Yes, ma'am. And the next time you ignore what I say and do something stupid, I'm going to push you out of a plane. Got it? Again, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Although, in my defense, it usually works. I Also, I fall out of planes all the time, so, you know. Where do I get the feeling... <laughs> Where do I get the feeling he's been pushed out of a plane by his colleagues at least a dozen times? Uh, oh dear. We've tried it your way. Now let's try it the way we were trained. Dr. Creed's dug into this island like a psychopathic tick, and he's building tech that's unlike anything I've ever seen. And I've literally seen a lunar fortress. There's a connection we're not seeing. Tech like that? Built on an island like this? We need more intel about this place. Urku mentioned a someone called the Holy Sentinel, an island protector with knowledge nobody else has. Creed's locked this holy sentinel away in a prison camp on the far side of the island. Time for a good old-fashioned to jailbreak, Jefferson. Infiltrating by water is your best bet. There's a craft you can take further down the beach. Okay, so we've had uh, we've had one jailbreak already, but what about second jailbreak? Oh, and before I forget, the battery you found? Let me charge it. Okay, now it's charged, impromptu fireworks show, destroy the laser cannon and rendezvous with O'Hara. Okay, Act 3. Let's put on a save. Hmm. And I'm down. Yeah, we need more we need more upgrade kits to get more stuff here. We need to find more crystals and flowers for these. Hello. I mean, they, they also mean the beginning area. Oh, now your blast issued cure flask restores three health cells. Okay, so we just need to find two uh, flowers for that. Yeah, a bit time remaining. I could say we can go and check the beginning area so we haven't explored fully. Yeah. Okay. Well, we should be able to do some new progress over there and find. Yeah. Hopefully something. <laughs> At least we get also more money. 
a really bad. Okay, nice. I, you don't get knocked. Maybe it was because I just paused there, but it seems that you don't get knocked off of a. a was that Wilhelm screen, but digitized? Okay, it sounds a little bit like it. Yeah, I, I it looks so. like you don't get knocked off nets if you get hit whilst on them. Is this good? Hmm. We'll need a second dash or something to get... A, oh, also, this looks a bit like that Sentinel. Uh, but less bold. Looks very much like them. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. I can't tell if we've... Well, we haven't been up on this side. But it's just up there. There. Hmm. Okay, there is something up here. Okay, but these walls aren't... They aren't even enough to climb up there. Neither is that one. Ow. Hmm. But there is something up on the higher edge there. I'm not sure if we've been there before or not. But it's... Wait, is that the supply thing? I think that's the supply uh, thing. Maybe? I'm just sure. Up one second. Hmm. Okay, there's still something here. It's probably in the left side there. See how we're supposed to get there. Yep. We dash from here. Dash to there. And there we go. Some more of uh, Reed's uh, the <laughs> saving stolen. Yep. Okay. And there's still stuff here to find. Yeah, I'm glad we find money, but there's many other things we need beside money. Yeah. Let's see. Oop. Mm -hmm. To many of you who have reported hallucination of flying fish, you are not going insane. Well, many of you are already insane, but it's not uh, not yeah, not in this specific case. Flying fish are a native species to this island, though. I don't know if that means it's still a fish or perhaps a bird. In any case, stop hosting competitions where you shoot these flying fish for sport. Incidents of friendly fire have skyrocketed since these competitions began. Admittedly, the senior staff, including myself, find these in incidents quite funny. But Creed's medical insurance is going through the roof. Stop at once. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, that's one reason to <laughs> to give your the. Yeah. That's one uh, way to uh, quote unquote care about your minions. Yeah. Okay, I should have opened that first. I will. Okay. There's a passageway here somewhere. Yep. Yeah. Could have gotten back here after we'd found the grenade launcher. But now we have plenty more tricks up our sleeves. There we go. And that's another heart. <laughs> nice. Alright. So blocked. basically, we missed a heart early on that we would yeah. needed. Part of a heart. <laughs> But, yeah, still a heart. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, we'll need to find the other entrance. 
in this area. Okay. Hmm. I'm a bit surprised we didn't we haven't seen any netting or such in other areas yet. Well I'm surprised it's all gonna come. Oh, right, this thing. Oh! Yeah, we retreated from that thing with good reason. Yeah, I forgot about that. They have mechanized... Armadillos? Uh, no, not um, those are not armadillos, I think. Uh, what are the other ones called? Uh, penguins? Maybe. Are these going to open again? Okay, they will open again, but it will take quite a bit of time. A perfect timing. How oh, mobile food you were to get eaten. See how we can get up to that. Oh, I see. There's a there's a passageway up there. Yep. Oh wait. What? Uh, okay. This the water obscures the fact that there's not really a wall behind there. Okay. It doesn't fully obscure it, but it obscured it enough to confuse me for a moment there. Yeah, but that means it, it, there's all from all the places you could have volume then. Maybe. Oh, jump to or dash too late. Okay. So we can just dash past these things. Wait, yeah, I guess this, this actually means you could volume earlier on that place you thought you could not your volume on. Maybe. It, it depends on if the wall is straight behind it or not. Or if it's. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Less, uh, yeah, more wonky or not. Okay, in one more, let's heal up. We found one hole and a lot of money. Yeah, the um, money is kind of useless until we get more base upgrades. Yeah, like, hmm. like it's good to have, but we really want a useful upgrade as well. Yeah. Hello. Wait. Is that... Look at the coloration. Is this a Jurassic Park reference? It might be. Yeah, that's a mechanized angling mutant. There, there, there. We would not have been able to get through here without that. Okay. Yeah, I get the feeling this is fully an optional area. Or maybe we were to be sent down here later. Okay, should have been able... <laughs> I should have dodged that one. Okay. We probably notice when we find things we cannot uh, traverse. Okay. Okay, I thought that it was an actual wall for once. Hello! Ooh, that has reach. Okay. And there's one of those radio broadcasters somewhere. Let's see. That. Okay, that's one of those now. Okay. Oop. Oop. Okay, big combat room. Hmm. Oop, bats are dangerous because of that. 
Okay. Yeah, at least it saved the game. What? And we should have kept our stuff. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it's only 100 coins, but still... Yep. <laughs> okay, j just add 100 to the amount of coins that we have. Come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. But yeah, we'll continue with this. <laughs> we'll, we'll continue with this next week. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying the game. It, it has more quiet moments as we try to get from point A to point B, but that's always with these Metroidvanias. It's not always 100% uptime with everything. That makes it more fun when it does get uh, hectic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, but before we end the stream, of course, let's go look for someone to raid. So they remove the always on top, change the screen share. There and there. Okay, Twitch, live. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have a decent amount of people online. We have Black Panda, who is playing Warframe. So Scaly Tail is just chatting. Okay, they're doing a demo day. Uh, Black Shadow is playing Doom 2 Hell on Earth. Simply Steph May is playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hisai Razier is playing Fallout New Vegas. Kanai is playing Stalker Anomaly. I, I need to look into that still. Then we have Karenai with Tabletop Simulator. The Kingdom Death Lantern. Can't say I know that. Let me double check. Yep, mute it. Let's see, what is this about? Okay, they're, they're, they're just doing a sort of Dungeons and Dragons like or something. I don't recognize it. Uh, next, we have Ruff Raccoon playing Indigo Park. Uh, Horatius the Dwarf is playing Elden Ring. And last but not least, we have Puffle Cakey with. Uh, which one is it? Lens of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Okay. Any of those that you'd like, or shall I take a pick? You attempt, you attempt a bit puffle, aren't you? <laughs> uh, not much more than all the others. Let's see. Mm. And Zoe went online, it, or has been online, with Final Fantasy XIV, it seems. Mm. Um, I, I'm a bit unsure, actually. So I'll be let, let you take a pick. Okay, let's go say hi to the spider, then. I've been wanting to play Stalker games again lately, but I've reinstalled uh, Call of Pripyat. Which I definitely want to stream at some point, so it's probably a good idea for me to get some practice in with that. I believe Stalker 2 is supposed to release this year or next year? Not too sure. Either way, copy the name. Slash raid and paste. But before we start it, of course, thank you everyone, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, anyone else who's... Uh, yeah, Sensei is lurking. <laughs> as usual. And, yeah, thank you as always, Drake here. Oh, that's You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching and joining. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, instead of Minecraft, we'll be... Well, <laughs> we'll be doing... <clears throat> we'll be redoing the last bit of uh, the Battle of Middle Earth 2 because, well, stupid mic issues. Luckily, that didn't have any effect on any other recordings. Yeah, like, so it just thing. parted out for that day specifically. Yeah, here's the thing. It's easier to redo and re record, just redo one hour thing than doing a two hour voiceover that's end up yeah. becoming three hour, four hour. Yeah, we we uh, did post commentary one time, and yeah, we had to <laughs> we had to split it up. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> and that was we only noticed that until two hours after we were done. Or we supposed to be notice it like ten minutes before we were to end the stream. <clears throat> but but yeah. as we discovered this, we are in on the other one. We were basically done. It was only one mission, so that's doable to just redo. Uh, 
give me a second this sit uh, there okay <clears throat> Uh, yeah, just sending a li send, yeah, just sending a reply to Liz on the server. They're asking for, they were asking about something. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow Battle for Middle Earth. Then we'll get started on Rise of the Witch King. And yeah, with luck on Monday we can get some multiplayer in. Though it's likely that we'll well, it is pretty much one hundred percent certain that we'll have to move it because Liz is getting a new job. So new work days and all that. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we'll have to see where we put it. Maybe on Wednesday. Yeah, <clears throat> but they were free on Wednesday, so probably Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, but for now, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we'll continue with this. We'll continue with this next week on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll continue with Rise of the Witch King because it's one hundred percent certain that we'll get there <laughs> tomorrow. <clears throat> and yeah, that's about it. So let's get that raid started. There we go. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, is everyone and have a lovely weekend. <laughs> and. Yeah, watch out for cyberized <laughs> mythical figures. <laughs>